Yeah, baby. Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push our lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on to bigger banquets. Miss that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday. Turn a blue day to a bright hue, yellow with a smooth A in hair, extra fruit, the brain. You can't move me, the music is man It's a con job, but this grand I'm blessed with a great hand amongst many that stink And yeah, it took some hard work, but blind up play a huge role And if they say that it don't, then they're feeding you fool's gold And if I know one thing, the truth's home Even if it's a tough thing to swallow An even harder thing to hold And truly know without a doubt while on the globe and even though that seems inherent It ain't always so apparent Dangle carrot, you ain't always gonna get it But don't worry, it's a pretty February In a year with more to carry And more days is yet to come Under the sun taking the ferry to the city Where the moment's extra pretty Like the people, like the idea that I keep inside my brain That isn't equal to the real world All that stress ain't saving me fear though I swear to God I'm trying But they pushing the demons down my esophagus Screaming the easy life, what I want always Praise made up holidays, tell me that love is the answer Just to boost this economy Buy more, sell now, but I ain't following I ain't a hollow man, I'm full of them fall winds Take it all with a tall grin And if you feel it, do it with me and just sing what the song says Take it all for what it is It ain't all so big Take it all for what it is It ain't all so big Hello, hello, hello. Hey, y'all. It's me, SB. Dearly beloved. How y'all doing tonight? Y'all know what time it is. It's Monday night. Y'all know what it is. It's time for the dynamic duo. So let's just bring him on up here. BMU, come on up and join me. <laughs> hello, sir. How are you doing hello, tonight? Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you doing this uh, this wonderful evening, Wonder Woman? How are you today? See, I'm look. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be all in. You know, I'm gonna fall off in a minute, but I'm no. trying to be all in. You understand what I'm saying? See, I want to be somewhat emotionally, irrationally <laughs> charged. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to feel my ladies. I'm trying to feel them. You know, so I decided yeah. I could come as Wonder Woman. Wonder and Woman. You think is it helping? I mean, what yeah. you feeling? It you feeling the energy? The, the lady, I'm feeling it. The ladies need to. The ladies need you. They need me. Yeah, they do need they me, need but they don't understand how. But you know. But anyway, listen. I'm in. I am really pleased and enjoying that background, buddy. What's going on with you? Oh man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know, my son uh, said, "Daddy, I want to do something different with your background." I said, "Okay, son, let's go." Uh, uh oh. That was me. Oh. Sorry. So he had already picked okay. it out. Oh, and uh, and and I said okay, so I bought it, and it came in these boxes and stuff, and so this is real. This is a real canvas behind me. Oh, uh, that we put up. yeah. I, I might I have to look into that. You know, we're gonna be displaced real soon. We got to have something. Yeah, it's a real canvas behind me. So, uh, no green screen, but a real canvas. So yeah, he did a pretty good job, man. I'm proud of him. Yeah, I like that. Go ahead on. So listen. Mm -hmm. What's going on with you? Because this has been like a crazy week of uh, news. I've been hearing a lot of shocking, shocking things. A yeah, lot let's, of shocking let's share, things. Let's share some of it. Um, because I see California is dealing with the laws they passed. Tell me about it. Which which women? Which laws are you talking about? Which ones? The ones where uh, people are breaking in stores and taking whatever they want and the police are not showing up. We talked about that about a year ago. They told them don't call them. You know, might as well need to yep. you need to pull them back inside and deal with them. And if you can't, might as well let it go. Security boss, the the police officer said this on the news. He said thirty people 
that are mask they have mask on and they're wearing they're wearing the same thing they all have on the same mask and they all move strategically mm. they went into a neiman marcus this past weekend and cleared the whole store in less than three minutes 30 people they cleared the store said they lost one hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of merchandise now and they showed the videos security balls whoever these people are they professionals i i i'm i i've never seen nobody steal a whole store like that and fight less than five <laughs> and less than five you gotta go see the video well yeah and they then you have to ask here. yourself listen they how are they how are they getting away we talking about 30 people they're not riding in one car so it's no, like no 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 they're all parked so they had the security cameras 30 people they're all parked in like 15 cars on different sides of the road so when they go in they hit and they go out the door together and they all separate, get in those cars and leave. Now think about it, they found all the cars later, they're stolen. Yeah. So yeah. so this is a huge operation. Somebody behind this that's a lawman has got to be. Because mm. ain't no dumb, ain't no criminals that smart that's gonna be in it. You stole 15 cars, got 30 people dressed all alike, go in one store, steal everything, run out, get in these cars strategically and get in the cars and go, dump all the cars in different areas of the city set them on fire, and you have all that merchandise. Yeah, that's and an also, guess what else they know? They know they can't call or jump in to try to stop them. You know that's one of the new rules now. You can't, you know. And and like you said, last year, I think it was, we talked about how, was it the governor or who was that? They got on, um, was the chief of police? You know, he did the yep. video about, listen, we're not doing no trespassing, you know, all of that. You right. got to take care of your stuff yourself. Yep. God darn. Well, there you go. It's going to be our houses next. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be our houses next. We all we ready though, aren't we? Yeah, oh, oh absolutely. Mm, I'm gonna have a field ready. day. So I'm let me, gonna have let, a field day. Let me tell you about this one, and I know you heard it, and I know everybody else did too. I don't want to. I didn't want to get into it too much because it's so gory and sad and all of that. But I know you heard about the decapitated baby. Yes. Yeah, black <sighs> female doctor. Yeah, black delivered female delivered thousands doctor. of babies. And you, yeah. I guess, I don't know, having a bad day? I, I can imagine that it just got difficult. I mean, it was a young, another uh, young lady that was a nurse, uh, emergency nurse, told mm -hmm. about how difficult this type of delivery would be. But listen, listen, listen. I, I, I hope, hmm, I don't know, though. I don't know at this point. But I hope that they told the family gave them the reason why the baby was deceased. And I'm assuming it was because the neck was broken, you know, no oxygen uh -huh. to the brain. I'm assuming that was it. But, I, you know, I'm out to lunch on the fact that they did not tell the the family that the head was actually disconnected. Should, do you think they should have told the, told the family that it was disconnected? Right. Oh and, and for that reason, that hospital finna get sued. Nope, those people oh, don't know absolutely. that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, they'll never have to work again. But black man, can you do you really think that that was I understand what you're saying and it should have been some transparency, but I just don't know if mom could have handled that. And the other thing too is them putting that baby in that swallowing that baby in that blanket and propping that head on the baby and giving it to the mom. You know they did that, right? Mhm. Mm they swaddled the baby really tight, propped the head up and let the mom hold the child. Now, see, all of that, they should have been on the upfront. Mom, you can't see this child or whatever, whatever. Yeah, but that's they, trauma. They staged a situation. Yeah. And then the that's, funeral that's home trauma. is the one who told them that the babies. That's trauma. <sighs> so, of course, you know, she will not be doing any more uh, delivering of anything anymore. But listen, before we get all into this, let's say hello to a few people because they're here supporting us tonight. So we don't want to, you know, Mr. Gilbert, what's going on with you? It's good to see you. Tina, hello, hello. Trey, how you doing? It's good to see you, Lady Navoa. Love, Trey. Hello, Corey. Corey, how you doing? It's good to see you also. Hey, Miss Patty, what's going on? Wonder, wonderful woman. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Let's see who else is here. Oh, got it. Be love. What's be love? Listen, I got, I got, I got to tell you something. I went back and looked at my comment section the other day, and I, I came across uh -oh. some things. And um, I like it. I do, I do, but I just want to tell you that I'm I'm looking at you all, you and that other man that's like three or four men above you, <laughs> Mr. Trey. Cause I, black man, I don't think you know, but I think Trey is hitting on B Love. 
What? Hard, hitting hard too. Like, huh. how how be love look? Cause you know Trey picky. But, but, but guess what? You see her beautiful face right here, smiling and showing her teeth. And and look, she's already said I'm divorced, but I I am a lady looking for another covering. And uh, I went back and looked at uh, my oh, conversation. Look, 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 look at this. Hey Trey, hi Trey. Hey, Come Trey. on, B Love. What kind of dog you got? Y'all think y'all playing? Well, I'm not playing with y'all. I'm gonna go back and take a look and see what be going on. I do be talking and I don't be paying all attention, but I go back and look sometimes. I do. <laughs> I do. I be look. Big Ed, what's Trey, going on with you? You ain't telling me this, Trey. You ain't telling me this, Trey. Like, man, he's sliding. He's sliding, trying to slide right on in there. Next is going to be the DMs. I already know. They're trying to keep me out of it already, but I'm paying attention. My Lord. So, I got it. She says it's all fun and games. Uh, B, uh, B Love, what part of the world are you in? Are you look. close to Trey? He's in Washington. Uh oh. He's in, he's in Chocolate City. Uh oh. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Anyway. I just wanted y'all to know that I have seen the conversations that go on behind the scenes. <laughs> mm. And I appreciate you both. And thank y'all both for being here. Who else was it? Big Ant. I think I saw you, Big Ant. How you doing? Big Ant, thank you so much for your $10 super chat. He says, hey, SB, and look at BMU got rid of the fire. <laughs> but look, look, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Big Ant. It is 110 outside today. <laughs> Man. Leave my man alone. <laughs> Wait a minute. He says, uh, what else did he say? I was at the end of it. And acting all bougie now. He get he done got bougie. Is that what it is? Man, come on, man. Don't do it like that, big ant. Black man, he said you're trying to be bougie. What's going on with him? Why is he saying this? You know what? You know, can't man. big ant one of them type of friends that you can't do nothing new around because he'll call you out every time. Every time. And hey, you know what, Miss uh, you know what security boss? What? My boy Ashton. Sent me a message today. I hope you're okay with me saying this. He said he didn't know that you and I, um, as you know, when we do a show together, it's, it was a church show. A church show? What? I didn't know that yeah, either. Me, we, yeah, we have a church. We, we're about, yeah. What does that mean? How did you respond to Ashton? I said, well, come on over tonight and watch us. Hmm. Like, man, you think we have a church show? I don't think so. I didn't either. You got Ashton, yeah. if you somewhere lurking around, come on up and let us know a little later what you talking about. Because we just be talking, having a good time. But you know what? I guess it is what people do at church. And those who are believers, when all believers get together, guess what happens? Mm. So I guess mm. you're right. There you go. I guess you will be right in that case. Church mm. show. Ashton. Yep. But wait a minute, black man. Is he trying to say that... Um, we gonna hook he him said up. Or he said, "Yeah, we're basically a gospel channel." A gospel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He said, "We're a gospel channel." So maybe he'll come up in a minute and tell us. Okay. Know. Marriage love, politics you in, is you, you in deep town. You in my town, uh, be love. Come on now, <sighs> Trey. Come on to Dallas, man. Listen, let's let me do this last super chat so I can get back to the uh, gospel of uh, marriage politics and, and sports. Thank you, sir. How are you doing tonight? It's good to see you. He says, "How many lawmakers who, how many lawmakers who put their heads together to make an act? I don't know how many, but you know what? You know what they're doing? They're telling us up front." And close that. Listen, it used to be we used to protect and serve. But since we've gone through so much this last decade, we ain't down with protecting and serving too much anymore. So you're on your own. That's what they're telling us on the sly. I hope you can hear it on the sly. Right. Um, because it's more of y'all than it is of us. So I'm not interested in putting my life in danger for you. So I'm going to let you do what I used to do for you, but I'm going to let you know in advance that I'm not going to do it for you anymore. So, you know, marriage, you know, that's kind of what it's about. What you think? You know, I, if I was in their place, I might be doing this too, because guess what? We done talked about this several times, and I'm like, black man, what, what happens when they go to the shed in your backyard? How how you going to get rid of them? And it's like, hey, you can't get rid of them. Got to pull them back in the house and make it happen. Because they yep. already said you can't call them. Yep. So what can we they, do? They're gonna take, yeah, when it gets to a point where the police are gonna be called, just imagine Christmas shopping and Black Friday and ooh, I can't bro. imagine none of that. I can't even imagine driving down the street, y'all messing with my hair. I can't even imagine driving down the street, y'all. 
Mm -mm. So this is the this is where we're going. So y'all be safe. We already know. Okay, so black man, it was something else that happened this week that I was gonna share with you, but I forgot what it was that bad. I don't even know what else is going on. Anything else you got? Hey, Monique, how are you? Ashton, Ashton, tell us about this gospel channel you're talking about. I thought B Love been hitting on me. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Mm -mm. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. B Love is a nice woman. So Ashton says, I thought B Love been hitting on me these last uh, few weeks till I said I didn't uh, didn't have an iPhone. She did she because you had no iPhone. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Trey said, at B Love, one of uh, one of the Airbnb properties is in Dallas. And she oh. said, at Trey, well, say no more. Mm, see, D-Town conversation. We love the Lord. We do love the Lord over here. Listen, mm -hmm. y'all be throwing Bible scriptures in the super chat. I'll be there in a few. Throw some Bible scriptures in the super chat. <laughs> Ashton, look, don't don't break the flow, Ashton. Keep he it said, up. "Why we?" Keep he up. said, "Why we want to do his ass in?" At the gospel channel. At the Ashton, gospel channel. Come how could on, that somebody. possibly be? How could that At possibly the be? Gospel channel. You know what he's saying? This is because we don't cut each other off, get mad at each other, threaten each other's lives. <laughs> right. We I are did. a gospel channel. Yeah. Wow. That's sad, Trish. I mean, uh, what's his name? Be love where you yeah. going? I'll be back later, y'all. <laughs> she trying to find out where the address is to the Airbnb. Look, be love got too many men up in here. They all coming after you, girl. They all after you. Ashton coming from the left. He look. He wasn't even supposed to be a part of this. He over there whispering. Yeah, you know what he doing. He whispering. You know his woman close mm -hmm. by. You remember he got to give us a sign, so we yeah. already know what's up with him. Be love him. Blink twice. Mm -hmm. Feeling unsafe. So listen. This is what's been going on. Y'all remember last summer. What's today's show? We're talking about some um, emotionally, irrationally, irrationally, irrational women. Y'all, it seems as though nowadays uh, our ladies are just not finding a place where they can be comfortable, where they can be ladies. We just taking on a whole different agenda for life. Last year, we were all about the Woman King. Y'all remember the Woman King, don't you? Beautiful animated. How oh you doing? Y'all remember the one Black man, you remember the Woman King? I remember I asked. You remember how she was beating up everybody? Oh, yeah. oh, I should say they. So unrealistic. But I believe all of that has encouraged these ladies to think that they really have those uh, powers where they can beat women up. I mean, men up. What you think? Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's a we, lot of we women see out there video, that... We see videos day after day of women threatening men. But... This particular time, this is a good one. And we talked about this just briefly, I think, last week when we talked about Miss Clarissa Shields, right? She's that right. boxer. Go ahead. She what? 165 pounds? 165, no losses, undefeated, two knockouts, or three knockouts, one in the MMA and two in boxing. Look at her. Look at her. She going to beat. Look at that arm, would you? Just look at the arm, would you? Man. Go on, girl. And then who she she's. The she be beating the hell out of the women. You know she got a man, right? Mm hmm. Got a man. Now, let me ask you a question. If you had a woman who was a professional boxer, I'm going to give her that, um, would you allow her to talk about beating up a man? No. no. What would you say to her when she said such a thing? How would you, you know, talk her off the ledge? I said, baby, say come on now. Come on now. You finna get in the ring with Keith Thurman, 30 wins, 22 knockouts. Come on now. But baby, he 20 pounds lighter than me. He a lightweight. I can handle him. I really think I'm a better boxer than he is. Baby, your sparring part your male sparring partners have gone to your head. You cannot beat Keith Thurman in a in a fight. But baby, it's just it's for charity. Charity. I got me. I, I, I'm good. You don't say you don't you don't know what you mean? You don't have the confidence in me that you need to have. What's up? I, I do not. Mm. So guess what? Keith Thurman, if you listening. I believe I'm a better boxer than you. I'll knock your head off. Just, just that I exactly already know. <laughs> exactly <gasps> what she said. Oh God, her emotions have taken over, and she's crazy right now. So listen, Mr. Thurman's going to has he agreed officially to fight this young lady? I can find out. Give me just a second. I want to know. Mm-hmm. Because I think he did agree to it. Did he really? Mm-hmm. They're going to do it for charity. 
see. There we go. You know for right. sure. Look at him. He, okay, it says here, Keith Thurman accepts Clis uh, Clarissa Shields' fight next at 154. So he's he's going to come up and wait. Oh, no. Oh, God. Because he was normally, what, 147? So he's going to come up to 154, yeah. and she's going to remain the, the 165, or is she coming down? She, she She's going to, they're going to do it the same way. Oh, my God. So she's going to stay the same. He's going to come up to her weight. So let me ask you another question. I know that they sometimes have this. I know we used to play a game when they did it. But do they have the pound per pressure or pressure per pound that they throw? You know what I mean by that? You know how you throw a punch and they can tell you the pressure that it comes with? Do they do that with these professional boxers anymore? Um, no, I don't think they do that anymore. Okay. Because I just wonder how much pound, how many pounds of pressure <laughs> is he delivering with a punch versus hers? I just wondered. Yeah, he's going to have more power. He going to have more power. He came here with more power. Yeah. Mm. And she thinks that she said it. She said, it. I'm I'm faster than him. She's, no, she said he has the speed, but I have the longevity. What, what, you mean the, what she, what she mean by longevity? Like in the ring. Like she the can endurance. go longer. She thinks she can she go. Does, yeah, her endurance, yeah. And that's based on the fact that she's um, sparred with a few men and she beat a few ladies. Right. Now, I'm used to men having way more endurance than women, so I'm not sure where she's getting this. Oh, you know what, though? They're going to make them take them drug tests, aren't they? Yep. All right. Okay, as long as she passed the drug test, because the only way I could see, because they're both in shape, and he's lighter weight, typically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the only way I can see that she could out, you know, have more endurance than him would be to take something, to take some kind of aid, have some sort of aid on her. And I hope that she's not doing that because that ain't going to get her nothing. Let's see. Yeah, what, she, what... Yeah, she want him bad. I thought it was just charity. She, Yeah, she's been calling him out for a long time. Oh, really? How long is a long time, Black Man? You mean this ain't new? She been like years. threat? This ain't for nothing real? new. Oh, I didn't even know that. She been calling. Okay, so I now. Think he, she... pissed her, he pissed her off at a weigh-in or something. Or something happened like that. He pissed her off, and she said she and she like I whoop your ass. Listen, Miss, look, Mister Gibbons said y'all don't realize she trains with men. Don't forget she fights MMA. Yes, we understand she trains with men, and she has won one knockout with MMA, right? And she's had mm -hmm. two knockouts, right? Two other, yep. and then one with him. We understand that. Mr. Gilbert, but this is a man. This is a man fighting her for real, for real, real money and all of that. I don't think that he realizes, though, that, and I want to know what you got to say about this, Black Man. I don't think he realizes that if he wins, he loses. If he loses, he loses. Yep. You think he, he understands that? Yeah, I, I don't know if he understands it, but yeah, if he wins, oh, man, you beat up on a girl. If he loses, oh, man, you got beat by a girl. But what if he Either don't way, participate? Though, damn, if you do, damn if you don't. What if he walks if away? If you don't take the fight, you scared of a girl. Are people really saying stuff like that? Absolutely. That's, that's wrong. I don't think he's scared of a girl at all, but I don't think this does him any good to take this fight. I think he should walk away. And I'm going to tell you something else, I believe. I don't think that any man should change who he is to satisfy a woman. See, that's that's where we're at. Women, men have been altering themselves for the last 10 years to live amongst women and and y'all really need to stop stop don't do it don't do it now if she walks up on you and starts a fight understand understood you need to protect yourself but you don't he don't need to get in the ring with this woman let her go ahead and do what she do with the women first of all let her knock somebody out again let her knock right. one of these men one of these sparring partners out one of these men because black man told me that her sparring partners actually clinging her head she won't be knocking yeah, her do. head out and then she put that, and I could tell that she uses her weight a lot on those guys. Um, she puts a lot of weight on them, and she hem them up in the corner, and she give their ass the business. And I don't know if they holding back. I don't know. Um, I don't know. But she said that she will beat Keith Thurman. And if she does, oh, Lord. Like, man, what if he really hurt her, though? Oh, yeah. Man, what if he I, knock if upside I, the head and just... Trainer, yeah, I like Clarissa, but if I was his tra if I was his trainer, I would say, don't hold back, give her one hundred percent. Black man, would you really say that? Absolutely. And why because would you, you do that? Yourself, why? Because you want to put yourself in here with a man who is a professional man whose strength is ten times yours, 
and you want to get in here with a dog, cool. I, if I was his corner man, I'd say destroy her. Not Make me. other women understand. Oh, yes, I would. Make other women understand that they cannot get in here with a full-fledged, 100% very in shape, strong man who have knocked out 22 grown men. And you think you got a shot. So you want to make her, or if this happens this way, you think he should make her an example? Absolutely. Make an example out of her. Absolutely. Get in there and beat her. Beat just beat her. And, and, and when you're done, go over there and look at her while she's shaking on the ground and say, I told you. Okay, black man, that last beat her that you just put in there, it sound, that sounded mm -hmm. a little personal. That sounded like a little, that, that didn't sound like a charity fight. That sounded like beat down you out of control, emotional woman. That's what that sounded like. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. what you meant. You're out of control, and every time he hit her with a combo, he should talk to her. I told you, bop, 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 bop. I told you, pop, 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 up, cut, pop, pop, left, right, pop, pop. I told you. No, he okay. should wear her ass out. Oh, Anissa say she agree. Anissa, you want him to beat the girl down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come her on her now. Her. And, and all the other women that want to get in the ring with a man, because we was talking about that last night. I see beautiful animated in the chat. What's up, beautiful animated? What's up, sis? Uh. <laughs> She She's said last for 100%, night that you know, yeah, some people have yeah, to she learn was saying, the hard way. Yeah, she was talking about alpha women last night, uh, and one of the examples I made last night on Sir Hill is uh, when you're when you are a alpha woman and, with, and trying to be with an alpha male, there's no such thing as an alpha woman. But men, if a woman tells a man that if a, if you're dating seriously dating a woman, a marriage to a woman, she says I'm an alpha woman, just go in the backyard and say, listen, we'll go in the backyard, or no guns, no knives, no nothing. Um, and we're going to just squabble it out like alphas do. And the winner takes all. So let's explore that just a little bit because you and I have talked about alpha women before. Um, when someone defines themselves as an alpha woman, what exactly are they saying? Are they just tell me what you think that they're saying and I'll tell they you what strong, I think. They strong, independent. They can do anything a man can do. You know, those, those types. Okay, can they be an alpha woman amongst ladies? Is that possible? No. No, no. Women are to, women are to be feminine at all times. Alpha females will never have a successful relationship ever. So not okay, married wait, anyway. Okay, okay, so listen. Okay, so let's just play. I'm gonna play that devil. I can't. I ain't gonna put that on me. I'm gonna just give you another point of view for myself. I'm an elder woman. I uh -huh. like to be an example for younger women. Uh -huh. So in, in in some ways, I would lead them. I don't consider myself an alpha anything, but what wouldn't right. they say to me? Oh, she's my leader. No. What well, they yeah, say? they'll say, yeah, you lead them to the right, you know, place in your Decisions femininity, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But oh, nobody's okay. going to. But but two things cannot be the same. Uh, a man and a woman are not the same. Correct. Right. A man and a woman is not the same. And when you get when you say a woman say I'm an alpha woman, the first thing that goes on in a man's head is prove it. If you're an alpha woman and you want to take the kingdom, prove it. And this is what's happening with Clarissa right now. Clarissa says she's an alpha woman. She's going to get in the ring and destroy this man. And for that reason, that man should beat her to death. He should beat her ass. Mm. And I love Clarissa. I do. Uh, she's a very successful boxer. She's beat every woman that stood in front of her. Um, I, lo I love her to death. But when you start talking about you're stronger than a man, you're heavier than a man, mm -hmm. you can dodge this and, and, and block this. You can't. Keith Thurman going to catch you slipping, and he's going to beat your ass. Yeah. It's simple. Yeah, he de and he's supposed to. I mean, because that's what it's all about. That's the positioning that we are supposed to have as help meets, um, or help meets, whatever you want to say. We're not supposed right. to challenge or be equal to our men. That also brings right. us to another point that, you know, in these spaces, because you've been here, you've been listening. That was another point that Miss Queenmaker. Um, have you been listening to these young girls talk about how to? Okay, so you have been. And have you been listening, like just strolling through and being hearing her and her, which you know what? Rhetoric. I don't. I Rhetoric. don't want to put her videos up because I don't want to continue to spread it. But I can't help but address some of the things she says. Now listen to what's happening, and I hope ladies can see this. The fact that women, and she's encouraging women to be out of order, nothing but. She's yeah. encouraging women to be naturally, I should say, out of order, out of their natural order. She's encouraging it. She's pushing it up on them and saying, you all should be the ones that are the leaders. 
You should be the ones that yep. are in control. That influence is getting in these young girls' heads, and they're telling themselves, oh, we're equal to men. We're equal to men. I can do what he do. Now, this is what supports the fact that Miss Clarissa, uh, Clarissa thinks that she can actually beat this man. Now, she may not be hearing it from Miss Queenmaker, but she's hearing it from somebody. Something in her has told her that she's equal and she can do this. Whatever it is, I don't know what it is. But but what I'm saying to you is this will never work. Okay, prime example, Miss Queenmaker herself. She has spoken, and this is not, I'm not picking at her, I'm not doing anything. But for some reason, she's moving as though she's equal to her man, or that's what she wants to be, equal. I should, I should actually go one further. She wants to be above him. Am I right? She wants right. to be above him. So in her she, need, yeah. in her need to be above him, she's challenged men on several different occasions. And she will tell you openly, and I'm hoping honestly, that four men have decked her. And I'm saying it lightly. Four men. Now, what woman, what one woman gets in those type of altercations with four different men? How do we do that? Who plans? How, how is that? Four she's different want, men? She wants to be a man. She wants to be a man. And every time I'm telling you, security boss, this is 2023. I used to have, I used to say, you know what? Don't put your hands on a woman. That's all out the window. Uh, because women are as, as aggressive as anybody. Like you saw today on the video I sent you. She, it goes from screaming and yelling to stand up on your feet to making threats to about meet me outside. Like they're very bold. Very. And I could imagine I wasn't there, but on four different occasions, she had an altercation with four different men. You know, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Did we just miss that message? Did you just see that, that comment? Uh, Black Bill, like a conquering king. I agree yeah. with Miss Clarissa. She is equal. She just has to prove it. <laughs> if she was equal, she wouldn't have to prove it. Exactly. What is there to prove? If I'm if I'm equal, why do I need to prove anything? What is there to prove? You know, and I don't I don't know if she's actually supporting that. I just think she's think actually I think she thinks she's better. She's actually said that she's a better boxer than this man. Yep, she said I'm so better. So she don't think is she equal. She thinks she better. But I'm just saying to you, this is a strange place for a woman to be in because it's not natural. And every time they'll find themselves in a altercation or worse, where a man could not control himself or did not decide to control himself, and then we lose as women because it's not natural. Right. right. It's not. But this is it's the message that, that is out there. Like I said, y'all, they, they weighing us out trying to. start it out last summer with the woman king. She beat all types of men with the flips and the swords and the, y'all know, the arrows and all those things yep. that she did. That ain't how women win. Y'all y'all know better than this. But women, those young girls, they act like they don't know black men. And they actually, like, they actually seemingly want this type of power. They do. So what do we so what do we do with this as men? What do you all think that y'all should do about these women besides beating their brakes off? <laughs> I think that's the only way. Wow. Because women, like I said again, if you look at some of those videos I sent you, women are becoming so aggressive. But uh, it's the it's I will say this. It's men, it, it's men and government or local authority's fault for this is happening. Because they uh, have given women an opportunity to do, to do that to a man, call the police, and have the man removed when she started it. Um, those videos that you saw, I sent you, it starts off aggressive, then it starts out your mama this and this and that, cursing, going back and forth. Then she told me, meet me outside. Ma'am, you're five foot. That was a big old boy you talking to. He could come outside and beat your lips off your face. So what, the reason these women do this is because they know they got a cop out. They know they got the government's going to come in to rescue them. And, and they can lie and put on a narrative. Oh, I was abused. Oh, he abused me. Right? And it, and, it, and the blame shifts right on the man. So that's where I'm at with it. I think every woman that tries you or wants to be an alpha female or uh, trying to be the male or trying to fight you or whatever, you should, and she put her hands on you, you should definitely show her the way. You should definitely show her not to play with you. Mm, God, that's hard. That's a hard lesson. That is a very hard lesson. But I do understand what you're saying because the influence now is definitely that women are in control and men should be, we should be telling men exactly what to do. So exactly. That is, that is so not natural. But the, the, 
the reason why it's so difficult is because um, the ladies, the young girls under 25, I'm going to say most of them are under 25, they're actually listening and in, in some way believing this. But the part I think that they miss on is that this young lady herself pretends to be a, a pimp. So how does that how does that work out, Black Red? How does the fact that a pimp can tell you what to do, when to do it, as though she's a man, right? And then turn around and tell you you're equal to the man and to the point where you may think you can beat him up or challenge him in a fight or what have you. Mm-hmm. You muted yourself, I think. I heard a lot of women say this, that they want to be boss women and they live in a, in a society where they're bosses and they want to be a boss um, and they want to be able to run things. And I disagree with that um, because every, every woman want to be a boss, but they don't want to pay the bill. You want to be over your husband. You want to be over your kids. You want to make all the money. You want your husband to be under you. Okay, you're making all the money. You're making more than your husband. Okay, well, you, you're the boss. Hey, you gonna pay? I didn't. I'm not. Listen, I'm not contributing anything to no bills. Be the boss. They don't want to be the black man. They don't want to pay all the bills. They don't want to pay none of the bills. They just want right. the power. Wonder why her BF would allow her. Oh, it's a boyfriend. It's not a husband. Wonder why her boyfriend would allow her to do this. I said the same thing, Anissa. Um, I Publicity. have no idea. And money, maybe. Now, yeah. would you call that, would, would that be him exploiting her in some way? Or should I not put all that on him because he's just a boyfriend? No, I don't think I don't think he's exploiting her because she run him hell. I can oh, tell you. Lord. <laughs> like, man, I don't, <laughs> how can you say, why? Why are you saying that? Because look at her aggressive nature. She's like that in the ring and outside the ring. So I can I, tell she's like that with a boyfriend. I don't, I don't know. She's your ass down somewhere. Okay. Black man, stop. That's not. <laughs> Black man, don't put anything more on this woman than what we know. We know she's ready to fight this man, and we she's calling him out. Now we know she's called him out for the last two years. I don't think he should fight her at all. But if he's going nope. to accept the fight, I, I, I don't. I, I just hope she doesn't get hurt. That's all I can say. I hope that. And this is not going to change any woman's mind. Any woman that thinks she can beat a man, she's still going to think she can beat a man, even though this professional fight will happen yep. and she will be hurt if, you know, they go through with it, if they allow her to hit him like that. Or maybe they'll put some type of contingencies in there where they won't be able to uh, hurt each other. You know, right. I don't know. Um, but then if they do that, then they're going to say it ain't real. So you're not going to be able to please everybody. Um, but I really, I really don't want it to happen. I want women to understand it, that we're not equal to men. Understand we're not equal to men. In creation, we're equal. Okay, God created us both. That's what I mean by that. But as a role in society, the role we play in our families and marriages and things of that nature is totally different. And I have no idea why women don't want to fall back into their roles as helpmate. Now, if you don't want to be married, maybe you're a little bit... Um, confused as to what you should be doing and that is up for you to figure out but fighting a man right. it, it ain't, ain't it black man that ain't it because again i tell my daughters don't ever put your hand on no man i tell my sons to put your hand on no woman but if she's threatening you or she's in your face or she's in your personal space remove her so you wouldn't tell them to walk away first no you know you can't tell them to walk away no more because when they turn around they're gonna get shot in the head stabbed in the back that's what's happening today Key in point, the guy in Mississippi. I'm leaving. I'm going to work. I'm not going to argue with you. Bow, 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 bow in the back of the head. So, okay. But, but black man, that's an isolated case. We got to walk away. You can't just, you can't be the person that, okay, so in, in other words, the police get to the house, right? And you say this woman uh-huh. was blocking me, keeping me from li- leaving, and they're going to be like, well, why didn't you just walk away? Because she was blocking me. So did who put whose hands on who first is the question they're going to ask. And then who answers the question? What is the answer to that question? And 99.9% of the time, the women are going to blame the man because they know they can get away with it. But you just said he did it. You just said that he put it, moved her practically or did something yeah. with her. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You got to. Because if she's, uh, uh, I'm telling you, if you turn around, guys, listen to me. If you turn around and walk away, you have to know who you're with. 
She may pick up a skillet. She may pick up a wooden spoon. She may pick up a chair, anything to knock you out with it. You have to be ready. So I just think this 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 is going to be a sad situation if it actually happens. Um, if it's just for tra- charity or whatever, um, I, I don't know why they have to be so sincere about it. I just It's just sad to me that this is going to happen. It's very, very sad. I hope it doesn't happen. I know you said he said he's going to go along with it, but I just can't see a man beating on a woman, um, even if it's because of uh, charity or both of my professionals or what have you. Uh, hopefully we get black men back in just a little bit. We have a new app that we're trying to use, and we haven't worked out all the little, you know, he's, you know, but we're going to work it out. Anyway, Built Like a Congress King, no, it's not. I just went away. I was trying to see what you had to say. I just, it just went on up. Let's see, no, about Uber driving, texted that was just doing his job. Okay, you talking to someone else. But anyway, um, yeah, this is crazy. Ladies, I need for y'all to understand. There's no need for us to be equal with men. It's not. We can appreciate our men and still be the ladies that we need to be. We don't have to take everything upon our own shoulders to prove to anybody that we're good women. That's not the way it's supposed to be done. So, black man, sorry about that. Oh, no, no problem, no problem. Okay, you know what we're doing, trying to do anyway. Yeah, <laughs> trying yeah. Trying to figure out. So, listen, ladies, I don't think that y'all understand that you don't have to prove yourself to anybody to prove. I don't even know what they're trying to do, black man. I mean, are we really just trying to get rid of the masculine man altogether? And one part Absolutely. I hear, but... They also know that they need your sperm or your seed in order to continue to create life. So, okay, how does that look? So, I'm a, so let me tell you how it looks. This is the plan. Uh-oh. So, I'm going to, as a woman, this is what they're doing. I'm going to emasculate you. I'm going to make you conform to what I like and what I believe. I'm going to make your sons feminine. And I'll take your sperm to make more of you. And I'll do it to the, I'm going to do the same thing to my child again and again and again until the agenda is met. As simple as that. And you think that black women, I'm going to go with this black women in this case, you think they are, they know that this is, I mean, they are, they have the thought process of doing what you just mentioned. That is their thought Absolutely. process. Absolutely. Because look at, look at women with their sons. The, uh, when that was last, it was the last night. It was Friday at barbershop. I think it was Friday at barbershop. When I, when I played the video of a woman with her son before school, she reaches down, security boss, and kisses him in the mouth. Like one of them soft, passionate kisses. And How everybody on the panel was like, what the hell? He like he's about, he was like he about 10. She kissed him dead in the mouth. I mean, one of them, one of them kisses where you say, "I right, have a good day, baby." Mm-hmm. One of them soft, just grab the lip like this. You were so, funny. but it was his her child that she did this to. Her son. He didn't push back. No, he smiled and gave her a hug on camera. It was his first day of school. Mm. I, don't, you know what? This is this is kind of devastating. I, I just don't. In my mind, I'm thinking that the women are moving that way. Um, because they're not aware of what they're creating. They're just listening to influences, and some of the things that these influences are saying ring true to them. You know, if they've been in a bad relationship, or if they've been in a relationship, or if they've seen men that are, you know, that they don't, that don't act appropriately, you know, that uh, right. may be in prison or whatever for, you know, essay or whatever, you know, right. that rings true to them. So when they hear someone talk about, negative behavior or other experiences they'd be like yeah 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 and then they just group all the men that they can see in that whole you know every man is the same knowing full well that they're not they know better but they group them all together and then they say to themselves hey look i don't want to have that in my life i don't even want to give it a chance to happen in my life so i'm gonna push it away i'm gonna push it away i think that that's what they think i don't think they think farther than that to say hey listen um I'm going to manipulate this man to get his sperm and I'm going to control him. Now, that may not have been their thought up until now. Now I understand that they got a a queen maker that's giving them a little bit more direction on how to do what? You got to understand the man. The man is a bitch. 
Did she, she say said, that? Did yes. she say that? Yes. Mm. I have she never heard man, her say that. She said a man is a bitch. Oh my God. Listen, I heard her say that men don't have the ability to love. And I think that that's the one, the, the one thing that's most telling to me is that if you're telling a woman who is designed for a man that they don't have no ability to love you, that alone will, will work on a young woman's mind. That would influence her to think that, hey, no matter what I do, no matter how much I put out to these young men trying to find a decent man for myself, that they don't have the ability to love me. And then then I give them examples of bad relationships and some of the things that men have done to women throughout time and all of that. And they be like, yeah, yeah, uh uh-huh, that happened happened to my mama, that happened to my sister, that happened to the... And then guess what? By the end of that day, I'm believing everything Queen Maker is saying. And she's something else because she said a man is not a man who wants to have authority over a woman. She said, take that same man and put him in prison. And if he can control those men, that's what makes him an alpha. And you're not an alpha when you're telling your wife what you want her to do. Wait a minute. Okay. Put that man in prison. And if he can do what in prison? If he can make the men respect him and he can lead those men in prison, then he's an alpha male. Okay, but then we just wait a minute though. Why do we have to have a man in prison? Exactly. Why, do, why does our man? Why do men have to subject themselves to going to prison to prove that they're man? That they're men. Exactly. Isn't that kind of off a little bit? Why, why, it's why, stupid. What was the response to that? I don't. We don't want men that are going to prison. I mean, things happen. We understand that. But when you talk about what? Wait a minute. If let me let me process this again. If you were a man in prison and if you can make the men in prison respect you, then that makes you a man. Exactly. So, so they got to be gangster booze in order to prove their manhood. Yeah, she said, you're not no man. You're not no man unless you, uh, if, if you want to be the head of a woman, um, what makes you a man is when you could go into a prison and, and, have, and make the men in the prison respect you. That's when you become an alpha male. Half of these men can't go to jail and be a leader. What? Did she say that for real, black man? Yes, yes, yes. And she said Anton it out loud and people heard her? Anton <laughs> did a reaction on his channel. Yes. Hey, Caitlin. Caitlin said the math ain't mathing on that. When the math ain't math, you got me confused. I'm sitting up here trying to say it again and be like, wait a minute. But yeah, because why would we even want the man who chose the life of going to prison or, or being in jail several times. That would be somebody who's not accountable for their life. That was an irresponsible exactly. person. That's not somebody that we're trying to um, have kids with and marry or marry exactly. and have kids with. Ah, oh, black man. She She's said an idiot. That. She's an idiot. I heard her tell these young ladies the other day. See, that's why I don't like coming on y'all panels. I thought about it. I was like, man, if she ever pop up on me and black man, that conversation is going to be so short because it's going to be like, dear, dear, stop. <laughs> You don't believe what we believe, so you need to keep it moving. You don't believe what we believe because nothing you said has ever included your creator. Nothing. Nothing you have ever said included your creator. And until you can give him the reverence and, and the authority that he's supposed to have, then you conversation is real short. What you're talking about is all made up. I don't, I don't even want to hear it no more. Nothing. Nothing you're talking about. But anyway, Marcus, how you doing, Marcus? I haven't seen you in a while. It's good to see you, but Marcus had a, a super chat I wanted to read over really quick. Uh, did I skip? Marcus, thank you for your $5 super chat. He said, hey, everyone, this mindset is that women have is dangerous. It's very dangerous. But guess what, Marcus? I, you know, it's dangerous for them, but I think it's more dangerous for the men because it takes y'all out of here. Like black men just said, if you got a woman that's cornering you, in order to get out of that situation, you have to move her. You just touched this woman. That is battery. Y'all know that. And y'all know they get to acting up and acting like y'all done hurt them just by a simple touch to remove yourself from the environment. So if this is the case, what do you do? What do you do? That's another black man going to jail, you know? Marcus, again, for your father, he said, this is nothing new. Remember, they did this with Floyd and Ronda. Who is Floyd and Ronda? The boxing? This is another boxing match. Black man, who was Ronda, though? Ronda Rousey. That was a Caucasian woman, to... isn't it? Is yeah, Wanda she Ronda... was the queen. She was the queen of MMA. Okay, I, I do and, remember her name. And she wanted to fight Floyd Mayweather, but Floyd Mayweather turned it down. What? What?
what? Black man, are you serious? Yes. <laughs> See, he turned it down and went away. I ain't heard nothing about it. Mar Marcus, thank you for bringing that up. But what was wrong with mm -hmm. her? She was crazy. I don't know why she would want to she fight. Was like, oh. She was like, because what happened was, you know, Mayweather got arrested uh, for assault against his wife or a girlfriend. I remember that. I remember that. And she was like, yeah, you want to hit a woman? Well, hit me. I'll beat your ass. That was see, said, emotionally like, re, re, ir, irrational. That said, was yep. an emotional she said, set thought. The fight up. She said, set the fight up. I'll beat his ass. Yeah, if we don't shut up, we're going <laughs> to... Anyway, Dr. Steele, thank you for your $10 super chat. It stems from what I have been saying about some women. What you've been saying, when women get certain skills and abilities, some of them gr grow egos that could turn out to be toxic to themselves and the men they are around, very toxic. But let me ask you a question. Do you think that in any way, shape, or form, his ego is involved by wanting to do this? No, German? I think no? that he's being pressured because he told her no time and time again. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. And she was like, no, you a bitch. You're going to fight me. I can beat you, blah, blah, blah. He said, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And she just kept going. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, okay, fine. I'll do it. He, She really called him a B? Absolutely. Black man, come on. Please tell me one time. No, SB, I was just kidding. I made it up. Please just tell mm -mm. me that for my, for my mm -mm. sakes. No? Nope. <sighs> mm -mm. Marcus, thank you so much for your five dollars super chat. He said both Cynthia G and so called Queen Maker hatred of men will lead our women to a whole world of chaos and pain. Um, it's already doing that. Um, you know what? I, I would, happen I would, to think. Go ahead. I swear, I would love to see her and um, what's the guy's name? Who you talking about, Queen Maker? Queen Maker, yeah, that guy. Uh, her and uh, Andrew Tate do an interview together. No, because they, they they shouldn't even try it. Because again, Queen Maker be believes, I guess, in the Big Bang Theory. I never heard her say anything about um, the natural. Well, she order. says the the natural order is beginning with a woman, but we already know yeah. that. So if hers began there, then we already know she's not giving any credit to God or the Creator, yep. our Creator. So that what kind of conversation can you have with her? Man, all she's gonna do is talk like a man. Well, there's nothing men to talk about. Ain't nothing but men are bitches. That's all Listen, she's, gonna say. she's gonna have to tell you where she's got this facts from that a woman came first, that a woman should leave. Where is that written at? Or where, you know, she said today, I heard not today, she said sometime that the Bible is written by men and for men. Oh wow. So again, but, there but you see, go. That's crazy though. It's not by men for men because the Bible exposes the men in the Bible. It talks about David sleeping with another man's wife. It calls him out. It talks about Samson, how he allowed a woman to manipulate him, and he tore down a whole building uh, with his strength. Uh, we talk about uh, it's a it's a, just a, it's a lot in there. It's it's a lot in there. So uh, and it's always exposing men in the Bible. So I, the Bible exposed a whole bunch of men, men and women. But it, what yep. the Bible is, is a way of life. It teaches us how to live a righteous, not a righteous, a life of virtue, high moral standards, value. Mm -hmm. That's what it's for. But when you got right. people trying to manipulate it, she told the girls, that, that Bible wasn't made for you. How, what you mean? It calls them out. It talks right. about the silly woman. It also talks about the the, uh, the virtuous woman also. So it gives instructions to everybody. But she said it was made for men by man. I was like, okay, see, again, She's given no credit to who we are or, or what, right. you know, what we were built on. And she's not telling you where we came from. She's just starting wherever she wants to start. So the conversation right. would, be, would be really, really short. Because you got to agree on some part. Otherwise, you ain't got no conversation. Right. We, we got to agree on the foundation of this thing. And if we can't agree, agree on the foundation, why bother? Yep. You're absolutely correct. Why bother? Because she's going to tell you that the matriarchy is uh, was founded, founded this thing. What you mean? Where at? Where is that at in the Bible? Tell me. Show me. So what book are you going by? Who was your person that did? Who? Where? You know, so. And she, security boss, if, if she did pop in, what do you think you would say to her? I, I would tell, I would begin with the foundation. That's exactly what I would do. And if we can't come to an agreement what the foundation is then we would have no need to have any more conversation because you and I don't see things eye to eye. It would be one thing if we agreed on the foundation 
And then right. the way things operate, we think differently. That would right. be totally different. But if we can't even agree, agree on a foundation, we shouldn't even be talking because it doesn't exactly. make any sense to do so. Listen, Clement, thank you for your $2 super chat, but I ain't giving her my Wonder Woman nothing. No. <laughs> no. No. Now, she got to find it in her hat. When she turned her hat back to the back, she got her woman, Wonder Woman powers right there. That's all she got. her voice all deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then man ain't that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Guess She's what? She's doing a workshop. The man she, is, mm. You don't understand the man. The man, the man is, uh, uh, you got to understand. <sighs> Man, shut up. Get up out of here, man. Everybody trying to hear none of what that. What did Mr. James say? James says what? When women believe in patriarchy, what? When the feminists talk about patriarchy, they're not talking about patriarchy. <laughs> Stop being deceived. When feminists talk about patriarchy, they're talking about andro, what? Androcentricism. What is that? Black man, help me with that one. <laughs> James, you got to help us with this. You using these big words. You got to help us with it. Just give us the definition for it. We'll figure it out. I don't he know said, what that's. Go ahead. He said, no, he said patriarchy hey, under uh, good male leadership and uh, what do you say? Androcentrism are, are two completely different things. Mm, even patriarchy under bad male leadership is better, better than, than. Hey. But see, listen, and James. It, yeah, and drug, and drug centrism. I gotta look that up. Andro, androcentrism, or something. I could be saying it mm -hmm. wrong. But guess what, James? Let me tell you something. Over here, we foundationally believe that God created man first and gave him dominion over all things. You know, we understood that. This is what the understanding is here at SB Nation. We also know that God created man. Excuse me, created woman from man for his helpmate, and that's it. Now, from there. We can talk and discuss other things that happen, but if you don't get that part, then there's really no discussion. If you coming up with the woman came first, I'm going to be like, uh, no. You coming up with, uh, I don't even know what you can come up with first. There was a, a matriarchy that did this and did that. I'm going to still say no, because I, we already know that life came from somewhere. You know, right. wh where you going to get yours from? If you're going to say that the Bible is made by man for man, then again, we have no foundation. So if you believe in the Big Bang, then go talk to somebody else because we're not going to have a good faith argument because we started out in two different places. So that's kind of how we think over here. Am I right, black man? Right. And I'm looking right now, security boss, at some mm -hmm. of her titles. <laughs> and it says here, uh, the validity validation man. Our validity depends on the gaze and control of women over men. Without women being over men, we cannot be successful or to do anything. And I think it's a good thing that women are in control of the male biology. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She says she thinks it's good that the woman is in control of the male biology? Yes. How, since when has a woman been in control of a male's biology? What is she trying to say? Okay. She got no. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. We ain't gonna put that out there. That sounds scary to me. Uh uh. What she what she mean by that? You can't even have no mm -mm. the male's biology. I think she's, she's trying to pretend about. like a woman can create a man without a man. <laughs> a woman can't create a man without a man. It requires sperm and seed, or seed and sperm. Have y'all want to say it? It requires a seed to fertilize an egg in order to create life. We need both of them together. Okay, I realize they're trying to um implant some stuff, you know, create some wombs and do different things, but that is not what we're doing in 2023. And, and that ain't what she's talking about either. She's creating lesbians and she's making these lesbians think that they can continue creating life, you know, throughout the times. That's not true. And she's sound like to me brainwashing them to make them think some of that nature. But what I did hear her say, or hear someone say she said, is they'll find, they, they're trying to do some eugenics. You know, they're trying to find yeah. some studs and, and, and take them and pass them around. Yeah, that's know. what I'm reading right now. I'm, I'm just sitting here reading it. I'm trying to give you this real time. It says that she has another one that says, the truth why men are protecting you. Men don't like real femininity that I'm teaching. Wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. She, th she said she teach you femininity? Mm-hmm. By telling men, commanding men to to wait a minute, wait a minute. 
She's commanding men, giving them orders and telling them what to do. And she thinks that that is femininity. She said femininity. Hold on, let me read it to you. She said femininity is not a woman who follows, but a woman who leads. <sighs> Black man, I just threw up in my mouth. Don't tell me. <clears throat> I don't want to hear no more about it. See, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't want to do any of her videos. But some of the stuff she says is so, so far out there that I just can't understand why anybody, they're not challenging it in any way. And again, I, I'm, I'm challenging it the best way that I can. But again, it's not fair to even her, for her and I to challenge each other because we don't even, we haven't even come to an agreement on foundationally where we come from. If she's feeling like women were the first ones here, I can't have no conversation with her. Cause then how you go, how did the man get here? If the women came first and they're the leaders, well, how did the man come about? What, 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 hmm? she, she said men are incapable of loving a woman. She also said you can't yeah, be a queen without a king. Well, and you know, they all say that. Yeah, none of them, but she went into the bees. She said, in the wild, there's no such thing as a king bee. It's the queen be surrounded by men. All of them are protecting her. All of them are working for her. Look, I don't know what she's talking about. She sound like to me, she's doing some woman kingdom. She watched too much of that movie. She probably watched it like three times. Let me see what's going on right here. Um, like for cash says, if, if it gets challenged, it runs like a track star. <laughs> She do be. She already done said, I ain't going up on these platforms no more with y'all because y'all think I'm trying to. What she said? I think she's saying that she. we think that she's trying to um, mail bash or something, something, something like that. I don't know. I, I really don't know what she's trying to do, y'all, at this point. I, let me say this. This is what's scary about her, and I got to let y'all know this. What's scary about her is she says a lot of things that I say. <laughs> That's what's scary. And I'm going to tell you those things that I say that I've heard her say. And this is really what's scary. Anytime well, a person can put some truth and mix it in with a, um, with a lie, it's very dangerous because I, too, tell ladies, and I do, I've do i done it for here weekly. I tell ladies all the time, I need y'all to elevate yourselves and I need y'all to have standards. Yep. But when I'm saying that, I'm saying that because I know for a fact that a good woman creates a better man. And what I mean by a better man, we create those men who want to be fathers. We create those men who want to be head of households. We create those men who want to um, be married. And when I say we create that, it's because we're not giving ourselves randomly, recklessly, and sex to the next guy that comes by. So now he realizes, hey, listen, if I want to be with this woman, I got to behave, or I'm going to say behave, I got to act and conduct myself this way because this woman right here is a god friend woman and she's a wife right so i gotta right. you know and if this is what i want i gotta also walk this out so i myself say elevate yourself ladies preserve yourself ladies and um make sure that you are being the best version of yourself i say this and i heard her say the same thing y'all so that's what's scary but i'm saying do this in relationship with a man. I would never right. tell y'all to do without a man, nor full well that men and women need each other. Yep. And that's where it gets scary right there, y'all. That's where it gets scary. Because I heard her say it. She's told women to elevate themselves. She tells, she tells, now this is the difference. She tells women that they don't need, in one breath, she telling them that they don't need men. They can be lesbians. Right. She ain't saying that, but she's saying you don't need a man. I would never tell a woman that because I already know that women desire to be men, to be women. Excuse me. Let me say that again. I already know that women desire men. I know this because even even though we complain and we talk about the traumas that we have, we women are still wanting to sleep with men with no um, no promise of marriage, no promise of honor, no nothing. They'll still continue to want to be with them. So I already right. know that women love men and I know that men love women. So I would never create a scenario that did not include both. So understand that y'all. But when you're listening to her and you just kind of walking through and she's saying, ladies, elevate yourselves, El uh, you know, raise your standards. And I'm like, wait a minute, what did she say? And I'm like, you know, this to I, get I, so if confusing. Women are looking for women like, uh, uh, if a woman's listening to this, this, this uh, Neanderthal, um, 
you know, uh, I, I mean, I think she's just crazy. I think that is a reflection of women who listen to her. No, Do black man, it is, it is. But guess what? You get caught up because as a woman, young woman, 21, we're talking about these spaces, 21, 22, 23-year-old, maybe even up to 25. The influence is the world. It's a worldly standard. And like I said, if you got a woman that can relate to everything or even some things that you have been through, but right. on the fly side of it, she's telling you, you got to elevate yourself. Girl, you got to pour into yourself. You can be, I'm a queen maker. I'm, you're going to be great. You're going to be this. They are going to accept what she's saying to be truth. Because guess what? The woman over here, the elder over here on the other side that's been married 28 years is saying the same thing. And so it's got to have some ring. Well, you know, I don't know if they're doing this, but I can almost imagine what well, SB said that too. But, exactly. but, but she manipulates it. She'll tell, she'll tell little truths and big lies and the big lies overwhelm the little truths. Yeah, um, but if the women don't have enough, um, if the women don't have enough foundation within themselves to go seek the truth, they are going to be um, lured in by by Miss Queenmaker. They're going to be lured in because because guess what happens? This is how it falls apart. I'm teaching structure and discipline. Queen right. Queen ain't teaching none of that. <laughs> Queen's like do what you want to do. You know she be talking. She, see that's how you that's the difference. You got to answer to no man. That's the difference. Black man, that is hey, so um, confusing to a young woman. Security boss. Uh-huh. Ashton's in the in the in the chat. He said, Where's the link? I've been waiting on y'all for a month. Ashton, you can't handle that woman you living up in the house with. So you sure you ready for this? <laughs> Ashton, you ought to know by now we don't be playing. <laughs> We're gonna bring you up, Ashton. We're gonna see what you got to ask to the what, what was it? What's the station? Black man, what station was it? We're the gospel station. The Gospels, the Gospel Station. Yeah. Ash, you know the Jones, Gospel Station. Uh, Bobby right. Jones, uh, BT, Bobby Jones. <laughs> look, but we still willing to look. If you if you feeling unsafe in your house, give us a signal. We will get you yeah, out of there. Blink, blink twice. So, Mr. Boss is going to drop the link now. Understand this. You coming up on your own. But anyway, listen. Like, man, see that's the part that gets me because see like if, if in some times, gosh, I hate it because if these women have been in relationships where the men were young, wouldn't socially mature, they played the game all day, didn't want to work or whatever the situation was, she'll play on that and because the woman will be trying to have house or play house with these young men and she'll play on that. Right. She'll be like, you was the one leading it. You was the one doing this. You was the one making sure the bills was paid. Here they go. Yeah. Yeah. It's a revolution. Mm -hmm. I was the one. Mm -hmm. They didn't even think about yep. that. Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. That wasn't your husband. He wasn't the mm -hmm. man that you were supposed to be trying to build with. You was in the wrong right. role at that point. Instead of you falling out, falling back, and just saying, look, this ain't what it's supposed to be, you sit up there and did what you were not supposed to do. Absolutely. So what do you do, Black Man? How do we keep our ladies, these young girls' heads on straight without it? I had one of them last night, she was like, somebody said, well, would you, would you date her? She was like, yeah, she's sexy. I said, what did she just say? She said she'll date the queen maker. I said, what? Man. <laughs> the queen maker, man. The queen maker look like an ice maker. And listen, ain't nobody want that woman with that deep ass voice. Can you imagine being on top of that woman? She, oh, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> black man, stop. <laughs> I like that. But black oh, man, see, yeah. listen, this is the thing, too. I was like, okay, y'all, I hear I hear that she getting y'all. I hear she brainwashing y'all. But ain't y'all, ain't nobody checking her credentials. What about her results? Okay, let's take the look. I don't know what she's lying about. I don't know what she's telling the truth about. But let's just let's just play this role. Okay. She says she's married, still married. She got one child. Okay. But then she's talking straight against men. But if you heard on one video, she talked very highly of her child's father. Okay, so that tells us alone that then she knows that there are good men in the world. Okay, now wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Let's don't play it like no fool. Did y'all ask her what happened? Why she's not divorced? Why is this okay? And then what about her life as a pimp? Or what about her life as a lesbian? Have we talked yep. about that? Have y'all questioned her about that? What type of results does this woman have to be labeled a queen maker? Is she a queen? And if she is a queen, what does that entail? What does that look like? Because I don't think it queen could be a of, queen. What? Queen of the bull, queen of the bull daggers. <laughs> like, man, that is such an old term. Are you have you like been here before and like went away and came back? Because that's like old right there. 
Do they still call them that? I've been around a lot of old people in security bars. I've been around a lot of old people. Do they still? They studs now, right? That's what you call a stud, right? That's a stud. Or is it, what is that? Is that just a lesbian? Yeah. No, a (laughs) stud. A bull dagger is a is a is a woman who cuts her hair like a man, walks like a man, ch- talks like a man, uh, walks around with a little pocket knife on her on her belt, uh, Stop tight playing. Wrangler jeans. <laughs> pocket knife? What are you talking about, black man? Ain't nobody got no pocket knife. <sighs> a security boss. That's how they talk. A security boss. How okay, so doing? what's the? How's that not a stud? Well, I think a stud and a bull dagger. Is the same thing. Why you put emphasis on the dagger part? What is wrong with you right now? <laughs> what is wrong? Dagger. What is wrong with you? What is because wrong? The women, because the women want to be stout like bulls and the dagger. I guess how my grandfather explained it to me. No, he, he didn't said, explain this. That's a lot. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace, granddaddy. He said the bull means that she's acting like a uh, she wants to be like strong and 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 aggressive like a, a man like a male bull okay he said the dagger is because she's poking all the women okay so she's a bull dagger okay so what is a stud a stud i, I don't call them studs no more i call them stud muffins studs are women who pretend to be men too um but they're consumed by nature. So let me give you an example. I used to work with a stud and she used to walk around like a dude every day. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dude. I'm a dude. And then her period would come on and she'd be wrapped up in the blanket. <laughs> and I come in, I say, you all right? She said, oh, I'm just, uh, I'm cramping. I said, her voice changing everything. I said, wow, I guess the period bring it at you. Now them stud, I mean, now them bull daggers. Them bull daggers, they don't care about the pee. They pee, come on, they just go in the bathroom like a man, sit down and shake that thing, move them legs. <laughs> wait a minute, shake, thing, what? wait a minute, wait a minute, what they shaking? Black man, you all got to be the craziest. The, look, you know, they no. sit in the front of the toilet, no. they over the no. toilet. No, no, what is they shaking? Like no, 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 no. What are they shaking again? What uh, are they shaking? You know, well, bull daggers, <laughs> where they're, where they're, <laughs> they wear, they strap every day. And they shake it off. Yeah, they be shaking. Uh, 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 uh. Black, black man, this is re- way too much right now. Way too much. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm not lying to you yeah, know. no, no, you make it up. <laughs> you ain't lying. You making it up. But listen, wait a minute though. Listen, this that's another good point though. But not the fact that y'all forgive me. I that's I didn't roll in the. Sure, you correctly. see, Trey, Trey said he arrested a bull dagger and she and, had her strap on still on. <laughs> Will you stop saying that dagger? <laughs> Why you got to put emphasis on the dagger part? <laughs> what? <laughs> I need I need Trey up here for his expert toolage. Is what? <laughs> Ashton. Ashton, what are you talking about? What, what uh, Ashton? I need you to uh, wait a minute. We are gonna bring you up because I need you to tell me what kind of uh, huh? Yeah, we're a gospel you are? channel. Oh, okay. Security. Oh, listen, Ashton, tell me something. What kind of station are we? I mean, with the super chats, y'all making me read Bible scriptures in the super chat, so I ain't wanna say nothing out of pocket. That's why I kept stuttering. You know. I, and my girl said I need to make sure I don't get counseled because I do talk out of pocket. Okay, so you saying them super chats was helping you then, right? What you say, Miss SBU? I say so you saying them super chats were helping you because you said your girl said you don't want to be out of pocket. You shouldn't be out of pocket. No, so she, that, okay. She said it before the show, so I kept trying to bite my tongue and I didn't want to say nothing out the way. And you know, being you be be killing them with the with the uh Bible scriptures. On, the, on another kid? show. So no, he ain't, he not killing them. He be, he bringing them life. That's bringing life. Death is yeah. the other. You know, that's the opposite. Huh? Yeah. So I didn't want to. When when I seen the 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 super chat had a Bible scripture in it, I didn't want to hurt the show cussing and saying the wrong thing. You know, <laughs> I I do have respect. I understand. Thank you, Ashton. But guess what? I'm going to put a cuss jar up here and we got all, gonna, all y'all going to be doing some super chats. Every time y'all cuss, I'm gonna be like, that was a $5 one right there. Ashton, the question well, it, is, do you know a bull dagger? <laughs> they, they, they the same thing as a stud, being you, you We, we got to stop playing this word salad and trying to get to know all their terminology. Don't words be meaning the same thing. So, but wait a minute, but wait a minute. Oh, so, so Ashton, you say the, um, the studs, they have theirs on too all the time. They wear their, um, you know, when need be. Oh, so it's not all the time. It's just when they think they need it. Uh-huh. You, so you know Trey that. just told us that a young lady had hers on when she was getting arrested. You think that was a bad day? 
He said, imagine having to do a search on a woman and that thing pop out on you. I mean, someone actually want to be me and I, about the, the city I'm from, like it, it's small and we know everybody. So you have no choice but to know the gay people of uh, be friends with them. Me personally, I, as long as you don't try me, I'm, I'm OK with you. <laughs> Look, be love said don't curse. Ah. <laughs> Be love. I don't know where Ashton get this stuff from. He just made it up. We just went along with him. But we not, we you know, we, we respect each other and everybody. So it, it, it was like 10, 10 gospel super chats. I, so I just assumed it was a gospel channel. And y'all kept trying to get me married and didn't want to go against the pastor when I said the, the woman didn't want to say her vows. And so I just assumed for, to, to stay on the safe side. He said 10 gospel super chats. Ashton, what are you talking about? Man, why? 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 <sighs> he said it was but 10 you, gospel you, you super chats. You, know, you know I got a real bone to pick with you, right? Uh-oh. With who? With you. Oh, you got a real bone. Go ahead, Ashton. Pick your bone. <laughs> you, you know uh, that last show, you, you know you, you went all the way down here with it, don't you? What you talk about? What I do, Ashton? Being you, did she say she saw me on, on the barbershop and my words just moved her, didn't it? She just she just almost fell out. That's it's true. You, you, I, I I did not say what you what you were trying to put in my mouth. I, I, I said did the not say, I said my words. No, Ashton, this is what I said. Yeah, black man, black, black man, man got it. Black man, pull out your DM. Black man, look. Tell Ashton we don't be playing over here on the gospel channel. Come on, Listen, on the gospel channel. Bobby on the gospel Jones. channel, we don't be playing. Listen, Bobby Jones. you said that, I'm going to think about it because it's been some weeks ago. No, I, I know what I said because I, I don't bring nothing okay, up. Go ahead, go, ahead, go, ahead and no. say it. go ahead and say it so I can say what I said again. Go ahead, tell me. I'm saying as black men, we need to step our game up. It, it, it's okay to, to not agree with everything that go on, but uh, you think you the best alpha male in the world, but me personally, when I'm up on my game, uh, I feel like I'm at 100% and, and know everything. I still take time and sit back and look and see what's going on because things change. And that's what these old heads uh, and these these old, these these elder men, uh, traditional old older generation, they, they sit there and know everything or uh, uh, act like they've been everywhere and they really haven't. And they that's what's messing us up as black men. We, we so small-minded and one-sided I, I I know people like that personally, and that's my biggest fear to to be that that shallow. Uh, uh, that that's what got me to open up and, and see the whole board. Okay. And BMU was not on the show. They kept kicking me off when I kept trying to explain it. And, and the only reason why I didn't go off because I respect BMU so much. I don't want to be the 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 bad apple, especially when he went on the show. But Mister, he said them. They kept kicking me off. And I, that ain't never happened before. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute, Ashton. I think you got me wrong. I, I didn't come. I didn't comment to any part of what you're talking about. What I commented I to. Know you said, but that's what I said. So, so no, 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 so no, 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 no. We're gonna bring it out, black man. You got your, you got your uh, DM. Ashton said something to the effect that we need to change to modern times. Um, because people are doing modern things. Is that not what he said, black man? And black man was there because my, my response to black man was, did he just say that black men need to conform to what black women need? So black man, tell him exactly what I said because I don't forget. Do you still have it? Hold on, hold on. That's what I just said in for you. That is not what you... I that is what, what I just said. Men, men, men can say that they know everything, but they need to sit back and, what, and, and and take a look back and see what's going on because things have changed. And y'all sat there and nailed me to the cross because I said I ain't ready to get married. Is that not what happened during that whole segment? <laughs> Wait a minute. Look, don't be look. You be look. Don't be moving the goalposts. What part are you gonna come for me on? Let's go back to the part where you yeah. said you are gonna come for me on because you done went somewhere else. I'm gonna show a whole hour. I, I got a lot of stuff there you on the cross on, but I just want you to know it, Ashton, it ain't no I, real beef. It, it's I, gonna I, be respectful. So you, you can't, you can't tell somebody gonna nail them to the cross and not try to nail them. Go ahead. I, he ain't doing nothing but faking anyway. Listen, I know what you're up it, against, buddy. You done been with that woman a whole year and you ain't asked her to marry you yet. So uh, it ain't been a whole year. No. I just said 
I just oh, say it because that's that. how okay. I feel. See, nah, we can't, Ashton, we can't deal with you. You be giving fake information. Unless you start giving it, real information, mean, I suggest you just sit back and listen. Because you know what? Now you done changed your story about five times. Just today. Just today. I'm going to exactly respond to you. And the, are you still trying to get married? How I look saying my relationship is perfect in five months. Y'all are nailed me to the cross again. And Come on now. What are you talking about? We didn't say anything like that. Black no. man, why is he making say up stuff? Too, but okay. I'll tell you what go on in the black community. If I tell you we've been together five months and, and we perfect, Y'all, black people won't go for that. You, you don't know that woman. Oh, we already y'all, know y'all. y'all not, we not already know y'all not perfect, though. We know y'all. We know you're not perfect. I'm finna find she, exactly what I said. I'm finna find exactly what I said so we could talk about it, Ashton. Because I, I, you can't be putting words into my mouth now. Come on. I, it's, it's me. Yes, wait, wait a minute, hold on. I got, I got proof, man. I, okay, I'll, you got. I got more proof. The, the, the love of my life. When SBU was calling me out before I got on the show for 30 minutes, then I say, it sound like she set me up like the police. Then it? So say it one more time, baby. She can't hear you. Thank you. What? I don't get nothing about her saying, yeah, in the background, setting you up like the police. What y'all talking about? I'm just saying, SBU, I don't got to go back and look at that. I know what I said now. I don't understand your argument. I guess that's what's happening. I don't understand your argument. Ask your girlfriend. Is she ready to get be married? When I say jump, she say how high? I don't know why y'all think I'm playing. We no, think no, you. I'm, I'm tell you why we think you play. Wait a minute, black man. Tell him why you think he playing. You remember on the last time we was here when he was like giving us the cold shoulder, like don't say nothing, don't say because she was in the room. He didn't yeah. want us to know. Yeah, yeah. she uh, left out. I want y'all. Uh, I want y'all to feel like she equal. Ain't that what the topic about today? Women being equal. I just want y'all nah, to feel yeah, good. Nah, women ain't equal. Well, if you think she, if you want a woman to be equal with you, uh, you in the wrong for you y'all. You starting out bad already. Y'all are not equal. Okay, Ash. This is what I said to black man, and this is what I said that day on that show. I said, "Black Uh-oh. man, is the young man saying it would be you, Ashton?" Because I didn't know you at that point in time. I said, "Black man, is the young man saying since women have changed, men and marriage should change?" That was what I said to black man, and black man was there at the time. That was my Uh-oh. only, that was my only concern and reaction that I had, and that is exactly what the show was about. Because I went farther to say, "Black man, can you please?" Send us the clip of when Ashton, at this point, I know you're Ashton, when Ashton asked that question. Now, the reason why I said that to black men is because at the point in time, I didn't see anybody give you an answer to the fact, should um, women have changed or should marriage, should men change just because women have women in marriage? Because we were talking about the young lady not saying obey, knowing that she knew she was supposed to say obey and her being disrespectful to him. Now, what I got from you, and I said this exact same thing to you, I said, well, Ashton, are you trying to say because this woman doesn't want to say obey, this man needs to alter his life? That's my point with you, because I'm here to tell you again today, no, just because she doesn't agree with it or whatever, he's her husband. And if he wants a wife, he needs to be able to to understand what he's getting into into. And if he can actually control this woman, you cannot protect something you can't control. So that's, that's all I said, Ashton. But it's, it's be you. I said control on the show that you went on. And again, Mr. He said them nail me to the cross and kicked me off about ten times. Also, so I was just I ain't coming at just you, SBU. I'm coming at where black man unfiltered went on went on, and I'm coming at you for twisting my words. I, I was stuttering because I was trying to, not to say nothing unholy. So I'm ready <laughs> today. <laughs> what are you talking about, Ashton? Oh, I think, I think well, you know what, Ashton? Listen, we didn't know we had that kind of pressure on you. We thought we was just having a very good time. Yeah. I, I ain't had no good time. I was studying telling my girl she must be the police. She saying my whole name. She studying telling me <laughs> I need to go and get on the show. I'm like, nah. She saying my name like like we been to a barbecue together or something. And what? she convinced me to, to get on the show. I, I I promise you, I thought you you was you was a narcotics officer or something. Why I got to be narcotics? Why can't I be a detective? You said my whole name. The, the narcotics officer don't want to do that. Not detective. They act like they they don't know you. <laughs> Lord, Ashton, I have, have no idea what Jesus. you're talking about, but I enjoy it. So keep up with well, the good work. Well, when, when I was saying in these times, men not getting married because 
of change. Yeah, yeah, and like y'all didn't understand what I was saying. But on this episode, y'all understand women want to be men now. The bank corporations, uh, I mean, Nike got uh, got a whole operation of uh, thieves and con artists. I asked y'all to be that open on my show, and y'all never talk again, like just like Jesus. What did he say about Nike? What is he talking about right now? Black man, help me. I feel like I done ran away. Huh? It's me. When you just when y'all just talking about San Francisco. Oh, you talking about the Neiman Marcus store? Oh, the Neiman Marcus, yeah, the oh, thieves I, I, out there stealing the everything. Nike store too. Oh, they done stole from the Nike store too, Ashton. Mm-hmm. But did, did y'all say man. I think it's, it's a whole thieving operation? Did Did you not SBU or BMU? Oh, but uh, BMU said he did definitely thinks it's a uh, it's an inside. I mean, you know, organized crime. He don't think that it's just um, you know just people just stealing. He thinks it's very much organized. He did say that. But Ashton, hold on for a minute. I didn't say any time in any place that women are in control of something. And we have not said not one time we understand this. We actually, my heart goes out to young ladies who think that they need to be in control. I don't believe in that. I, and but you, I ain't accusing you of that. I'm just saying that was my opinion on our show. And that's why I'm not in a rush to get married. I need to get to know the person. And y'all instead of trying to rush me, talking about, oh, she she make you breakfast. Your black ass need to get married. No, how y'all gonna rush me? You yeah, the one you, who said yeah, BMU, you, okay, you listen, said black listen. BMU, you said black black in ass, and you ain't, you ain't make that face. Listen, though, you just said when you tell her to jump, she say how high. That okay. Means you, that means you, no, no, no. That means you're not dealing with some woman that's trying to command you to do something. You actually even went on to say you got to make her go out and do stuff. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Okay, I so, remember so when you tell us that this woman is totally submitted to you and y'all been together back then, you said a year, you didn't say five months back then, you said a year and you said everything was going well and you don't have them type of problems. You don't have them type of problems. You said that. Why wouldn't we say you need to wife this good woman up? Wouldn't that be the next thing to say? SBU, this ain't the Boston Tea Party days. You can't just get married in four months no more. I would like to. Tell me why not. You but say you you saying you the woman is jumping how high you want her to jump. What else do you want her to do? It's be you. Just just because I'm special like that, that don't, that don't mean I got to jump in and act like time ain't changed. Like I I, I still gotta have my eyes open. It's but just, Ashton, didn't you tell us you wanted to be a traditional man? Yes. Okay, I'm confused. You got me. You got it. You got it, bro. I don't know what you're talking about now. If you got, if you are a traditional man, and this woman is satisfying and checking all the box as a traditional woman, and you love her and you care for her, and you don't have them type of problems. I got to get married point, before a year. Before a year, SBU, you, I got to yeah. get married before a year. I'm saying, look, get married whenever you want to get married, but you were acting like, hey, y'all need to be quiet. I don't want to know about this. And we was like, wait a minute. I don't need y'all. I don't need y'all. Talk, talking about all that toxicity in my home. Just, Wait a minute, we was being toxic. Toxic, toxic, toxic. Yes, that that's toxic. <laughs> How, Ashley? You you know what, Ashley? I think you're confusing us with somebody else because I don't remember us saying not one thing that was remotely toxic. We were speaking love, 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 and you wouldn't giving us the signals as though you we needed to get you out of there. So that told us that you was happy. We told you to give us the single signal blank twice if you needed help. You never did it. So that let us know that you was happy and she was really jumping how high you wanted her to jump. So we thought that that would be the perfect wife. I mean, that's total submission. What more does a man want? I can't take my time and enjoy and make sure it cross all the, 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 check, the check marks and boxes. Is that, a, is that an issue? No, you could do that, but you made us think that you had already done that. If you if you go back and listen to that video, you made us think that you had already had all. The, you had even gotten to the point that y'all were kind of acting like an old couple because you was like, I got to make her do stuff. We, and then you even gave us the example of how you dated in the past and how the woman didn't want you to know where the money was coming from. But this particular woman right here, she ain't got them type of issues. You remember that? Uh huh. But why can't you have a conversation without, without y'all trying to rush me to the pool pit? Well, how was I, we rushing? We we was just going with your flow. That, that clearly was not my flow. I wouldn't be on this show complaining. 
<laughs> Actually, that's been over a month ago. This really doesn't count. If you would have complained, because it was we've been on his side. I've been talking about waking my girlfriend up, talking about it. Say, I can't wait to kiss SBU at the liquor store or something. I'm gonna uh, wait a minute, why I can't go to <laughs> wait a minute? Why I can't go to the liquor store? It's legal. Yeah, yeah oh, but that's oh, not gonna catch you slipping. Wait a minute, I can't go to the liquor store because I got the gospel channel. Is that how it is? Just let me know. It's I just want to know. I just want to know how you're thinking, huh? Y'all y'all asked me to read the super chats, and the super chats I was reading was was Bible scriptures and stuff, and that's why I like being because when we be on another show and no women be trying to manipulate us, like y'all just agree that women do now. Before I, but when I said it, y'all couldn't agree to it. I didn't say when nothing women about be a woman manipulate us with, with Bible. Oh my God! Okay, huh? I ain't. I ain't said nothing about when women manipulate us with Bible scriptures. BMU come right in the cut and say, "Nah, that ain't what the Bible say." And no one be like, "Well, my, I'm a boop, 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 boop. and then back out and take off running and jump off the show." I, I, I assumed it was a Bible, a Bible show. I'm sorry, Ashton. What did you talk about, Ashton? Let's let's listen. Have you been drinking? No, I don't drink. You sure? Like because this. I'm 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 a little confused because you are talking about some things that never ever happen. And I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering, are you trying Honestly, to use me as a cover up? Are you trying to cause you said you've been thinking about that conversation for a whole month now with your woman? And I'm just wondering what is going on with you right now. Because you know full well you told us that you love that woman and you I had, do. Well I'm listen, just saying times and times you can't just jump in head first, people when pe Families don't last 20 and 30 and 60 years no more. I, I, I can't just throw it all away for a hope and a dream. And Ashton, why why can't you do that? Because that's what marriage is about. There's not going to be a perfect situation. So if you if this woman is jumping, how high do you want her to jump today? What you think she going to be doing? Gonna... Huh? What time is it? I'm sorry. How, what you think she going to be doing six months from now that she's not doing already? Jumping on the other guy. Thanking, thanking God she met me. <laughs> Blackbeard, what is wrong? Listen, I'm for Ashton. Just, just stay right there. I'm finna talk to Trey and Blackbeard. Trey, what's going on with you? Trey, was you there that night that Ashton was on here? You was here with me. No, I, I don't know what I don't know why Ashton wanted me to come up because I have no idea what y'all talking about. A Ashton's been drink. Ashton, have you been drinking? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm glad you asked Trey. Oh, uh, Trey gone now. No, he here. Go ahead. No, Trey, you here. You I, I think here. he can hear you. Yeah, well, go ahead. Yeah, I'm here. Women say that, that like Prince Stella say, men are abusive and monsters and demons. I know you Trey, not quoting Prince Stella. I Trey, know damn it, well you our, ain't quoting Prince Stella. Our bisexual couple's not the highest in domestic violence right, right now. now. No, no, no. I feel as though we need some scriptures right now. <laughs> Y'all doing it. Y'all doing it now. What do we do? You the one. Uh, black man, let's hear what Those you want to have a real conversation with, with statistics and fake. Y'all want to pull out the Bible. Oh, so, but, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Prince Ella chapter 3, verse 45. Wait a minute. Hold on for a minute, black man. He said, Y'all just so brought up all Prince Ella facts and, and said y'all don't agree and kept on talking about it. I start having topics. Y'all act like I'm crazy. So you, so you agree with Prince Ella? I don't. So wait, 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 black, black man. Maybe we need to hear what he's getting ready to say, and then let him tell us what he's getting ready to say about Trey first before we. Let's just okay. Ashton is yours. Go ahead, go for it. I'm just saying it's not that I don't want to jump in head first, but exactly how y'all was talking about how women changed in this era in this day and time. Just them hearing Priscilla will make them not want to be married. Anymore. I have seen it. It's not anecdotal. Like I, I don't just see one person and say, "Oh, I, I seen it in trauma bond." Like I have seen it multiple to where I can say it's up in the hundreds when I bring up something that I can't say the fact on. And I was saying that why I asked Trey up here is women use manipulation and say that men are the abusers or demons, but it, the the police officer in Memphis would tell you. Bisexual or uh, LGBT couples got the highest domestic violence rate, and that's the main that's the main uh that's the main excuse women been using for like the last seven or eight years. But if, if who who am I to to make a woman listen to me 
and lose and agree with me or, or see my my point of view over Prince Sella. Women today are made different. It, it, that's just what it is now. I don't know why. I can't. I'm not Prince Sella. I ain't gonna say well the monkey the monkey's right side of the brain is just like the woman's side of the brain. I don't use that. I just use what I've seen multiple times, and it, that's what's going on now. Okay, can I can I yes, address you? Okay, so listen, you, you said a couple things I want to address. You said, who am I? You are that same man who says that this woman will jump how high you tell her to jump. So if you were to, and understand, we're just joking and kidding with you, so don't, don't get all serious on us. So if yes, you wanted yes, to... If you wanted to marry this woman and she loved you enough to say yes and under and humble enough to understand it when a man asked her to marry him, he is it's an honor. If she understands mm -hmm. that and you know that, that would be the woman that you would not allow to watch Priscilla or any social media, whatever the social media influence you think that she's getting that's negative that would come between you and your nuptials or your marriage, that would be what she would not do. And your wife would respect you enough not to do that. So that's the that's the man that you told us that you were because you said your woman is jumping up very high. That's what you said. Me. Exactly. So I, that's the it, it, huh? but, but this okay. I, I, Wait, I say let, I let don't me get through. Things, let me get let me get I'm, done. I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize. I, I'm sorry, Bishop. <laughs> let me get done. I'm not a bishop or none of that. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm telling you how things uh, go. So that's that yeah, woman. Yeah. Then the second part was um, if your woman is going to change, it still goes back to the first answer that I gave you. You have to look at this woman and say, hey, look, okay, you into that? Let me see what your influences are. Oh, you were, you looking at that? She's telling you that this is not going to work. Men ain't no good. Blah, 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 this. You have to make a decision if you want to be with that woman. There's always red flags and little indicators, and there's a thin line from a woman being your wife and your girlfriend. You have to make that decision if this particular woman has showed you enough to say, okay, I'm ready to be your, be your wife. It ain't us. <laughs> You 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 done or uh, I'm done. I, Thank you. Thank you, sir. I I it, it's me. I understand. I said the type of man I am, but personally, when a person tired of you, it don't matter if you goddamn Will Smith. You see what he going through? What are you going through? And he, he got way more money than me. Oh, you saying him and his wife are having some uh, relationship issues? He married a whore. Oh. Relationship it, issues. That happens. You, relationship it issues. Happen, it happens. It, it, you, it, if, if your man is a certain status and you still find a way to say you're not happy, that that's that's not on, on me. But women today will make it be about the man problem or the man fault. And it's you just saying you're not happy, that that's not good enough for me. Like and that's what women do today. They they base it on happiness. And I can't put my life on hold or put my life in the hands of a woman that ain't won not one basketball tournament, pencil break fight, or, or got picked to play dodgeball. I can't do it. You That's said all I'm saying. But you said pencil break fight. Did you say that? Yes, ma'am. I, I, I can't let somebody just describe if they happy or not and they ain't won a goddamn thing in life. I understand. Not, not saying my girl. I'm, I'm sorry. Just... I understand, Ma Ashton. I get what you're saying. I do. So um, tell us, though, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm not going to bother you anymore because I didn't know you had been with this woman but five months. Now that, now that you decided to tell no, us the I truth. Oh, see, if you know it, though. Black man, what did this man tell us over a month ago? Black man, take it to I was just giving you a scenario. I was just giving you a scenario. Do what he said. It's be you. If I say how high, she jumping how high. She jumping high. And that's it. That's, that's, that's just that's what it is. I don't have no problems. I, I don't have to be married. It's for you. I, I can just say what I want to say. It's for you. I, I, I'm gonna tell her what I want to tell her. I don't have a problem, but, but ten years, ten years, ten, ten years down the line, if my woman tired of mad at me, a man, what I have seen a thousand times, a man could come and say, "I know you wouldn't take that." That could be the day she say, "You, you damn right, I won't take it." And flip the script on me. It happened right. all. It's not just you know, cheating. Listen. 
It could be just a, a woman you know, is not in the mood or I'm, don't I'm want that. I'm not trying to push you me. into no marriage, bro. We'll just be joking with you. However, you can get married whenever you feel like you want to get married. But if you are afraid that a woman is going to do you in, then you're not with the right woman. It, it's, think, it's not about somebody, being afraid, BM. You, I'm, I'm, I'm just America. saying, like yeah. everybody, don't is not mm -hmm. willing to to just throw it all on the front line like that no more. Like I understand, y'all may have when it went no internet and, and all black and white fat back TVs. That, that was the greatest experience of y'all life. He said it was black and white TV. Are you crazy? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, that, so, so. Ashton, my thing is this, is she good, no she good enough? Huh? Are you having sex with her or are y'all abstinent? Are y'all being, and wait until y'all get married? What's that, BMU? Huh? If you can hire you. What's that, BMU? I said, if, so are you having sex with her right now or are you guys just not doing anything until you get married? Don't answer that, Ashton. I mean, I, I, I ain't, I'm trying to, we, we just go to Bible study and, and read the good book and, and make sure we put extra money in the plate when we kiss and hold hands in public on Sunday. We, we don't they have liars, no sex. We, we bro, have they lie. They lie. Good, good answer, Ashton. Good answer. So, so hold on. So she, so she good enough to trust. She good enough to trust with your penis, but she ain't good enough. She, so she's good. Wait, 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 wait. We ain't get penis. penis bro. I just said abstinence. Did I not? You heard me trying. You didn't say that. You didn't say that. You being, you being, you trying to be funny. What I'm saying is, you over there getting that thing, boy. And you hear me now, giggling, BMU? You hear me giggling? I ain't playing the mic. You is giggling. <laughs> you giggling. You but no, giggling. I, you I, I'm a, it, it, ain't, it ain't nothing. I, I, I'm not mad, man. It's just like what I was saying. They they twisted it and was kicking me off with BMU on there. And then what you heard was not what I was really saying. And I didn't want to say it just out the blue because you did come at me like a undercover police officer. So I, I couldn't trust you to talk like this, you know. Right. Would you say I was abrasive? You you was very you was, what, what they be calling me and Trey when they trying to get a divorce? You you was very possessive then. I was possessive of who? <laughs> uh uh changing my words and and making sure you you you, you get me. <laughs> Ashton, 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 I thought you was going to say I was abrasive. <laughs> I don't use the race card. Huh? I don't use the race card. What, what, wait a minute, what race card? What are you doing? Abrasive. You said abrasive. abrasive. Said abrasive. Not, not racist. Abrasive, not racist. I like to, I don't know, but I, I feel highly... Well, damn, Trey, what they be saying? Come on now, you a police officer. What they be what they be I writing in the uh um... I don't know what you want from me. I don't I don't <laughs> understand what you want from me. Wait a minute, you the answer whisperer. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. Trey, you the Aston Whisper. <laughs> Come on now, Trey. Come on now, Trey. What he wants. I don't know what he wants from me. What do you want me to say, Ashton, so I can help you? I'm just sitting here like I don't know what's going on. I'm just, I'm just saying, if times have changed, like we, when I, me bringing up the subject when BMU was around was getting me kicked off. Me saying I don't want to get married, was was making y'all act like I'm just don't want to get married and use her up. Like that's what goes on in this community. Well, well, to, today. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. To be fair, Ashton, you you sound like me. Wait a minute, though. No, wait wait a like, minute. no, you you be saying you want to stay single for life. Hey, at least I still got hope. And, and you, don't mind you taking the time. If, if, you you if, you, if, you, if you're talking about all the negatives, that's my job. That's what I do. But I, but that's the thing, SBU. I'm different. I can I can talk negative all day and, and still go on about my day once I close my phone and be happy. So you, other okay, people not on, like so what, it. Hold on. So what happens when one day your girl say no more kitty cat until you bring the ring back? I mean, I I never had that answer before. That. I never had that happen before, but if I was some other local joke, I'm, I'm sure that she would know to use it on him. So I can't answer that, BMU. Are y'all confused? Um, I am. I think, yeah, Ashton said, yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. And why you saying I get Kitty Cat? I just told you I'm asking it. B O U. Ashton, can I ask you a question? I Ashton. heard you say you, you asked. You said I ain't. I, you know I don't have no problem with getting no bo- no put no booty. That's what you said. <laughs> But wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I'm a don't, don't hold on for a minute, show. Ashton. Ashton, hold on for a minute. I think you think he might be confusing like all these shows and putting them all together because he keeps saying he got kicked off. Where he get kicked off at, black man? I don't know. The barbershop, the show you said I moved you on. Black man, y'all kick people off over there. Mm-mm. I, I, I was studying with Buddy, Mister. He said they were just studying kicking me off, putting me backstage, and that was my whole thing. Like. Y'all claim to be traditional men, but y'all don't want to listen to what we say going on now in this new generation of yeah. dating and relationships. And um, okay, so well, guess what, Ashton? Nobody, Follow this. Nobody kicked you, yeah, nobody kicked you off. And traditional men. Um, so if we were, if if I'm considered a tra- traditional man, then what are men called today who shack up with women and don't marry them? Smart. I mean, if, if if women can change words in the Bible Great. when they when it's time to get married, can I I can't change what what traditional is? Yeah. No, no, I'm saying what is traditional to you? What is your definition of a traditional man? Getting married, having kids, having a family, white picket fence, the the American dream. I mean, I, I feel like y'all just saying I'm not traditional because I don't want to get Amen. married within three months. Well, well, no, no, no. The reason that I asked that is because I want to go back on something you said, Your Honor. I want to bring this evidence to the to the to the to the forefront here. Go ahead, um, sir. Pr- proceed with caution. Absolutely. Oh, um, we feel you. That, they saying in the chat that that, that that you don't kick people. It wasn't you. It was the show that you went to go to the funeral. It wasn't you. So I just want to. Okay, let, let me let me say this to you. You said t- did you or did you not? Uh, Mr. Ashton, tell us on the show uh, a couple of weeks ago that you have met a woman like no other. That's all the time. Ashton, sir, can you just answer the question? You seem a little hostile. Can you just answer the question, please? That was a yes or no. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. You You have met the woman that is good for you. So then my question would be, Mr. Ashton, why are you worried about what it was going on in the world when you found your world in the woman that you're with? Answer the question, Mr. Ash. I, I can't look out for myself and make sure that I'm that I feel comfortable and Mr. Ashton, did and, you or did you not say this is the woman who would do anything for you? You say jump, she says how high. You says that she's good to you, she's not a cheater, she talks well. She does well. She can cook. She takes care of you. Did you did you not say this woman is good for you? Yes or no, Mr. Ash? I did, but then you kept trying oh, to Mr. say, Ashton, oh, well, I'm going to put her on. BMU, 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 you seem a little, um, you know, argumentative. Please rephrase the question. Yes, you're on. Ash. Yeah, oh, no, no, BMU. Wait a minute, hold on. When I kept saying that I just need a little time, just like women do in these modern day new generations, her, SBU turn around and say, well, I'm going to put her on somebody that go to my church. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck happened? <laughs> hold on, hold on. So let me I turned around and said, it can be the uh, eldest of boy from Europe or Germany, mm. and she still ain't going to do Okay, so did you not say this is the woman for you? You said that, uh, Idris Elba could approach her and she would say no because she is attached to you and she loves only you. Did you or did you not say that, sir? I did. So if this woman is everything for you, she checks off all your boxes, then why is this woman good enough to lay with but not good enough to have a day with within the in the courthouse or in a church to have a wedding? Can you answer uh, the question uh, for us tonight? Your, your Honor, Your Honor, Trey, Trey for the defense. Um, <laughs> Badgering the witness. I, 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 first of all, objection. He, he he did not ask permission to treat my to treat my client as a hostile uh, witness. For oh. one, uh, number two. Overrule, please, BM. You continue on with the questioning. <laughs> So if she checked, so sorry. Did did you did you? Did Wait a minute, hold on, she, hold on, BMU. I I forgot to address this. Um, Mr. Ashton, yes, 
Mr. Ashton, yes, if, you, if you um, misspeak one more time, we're going to hold you in contempt of court, sir. So I need you to stick with the facts. Understand? I never once said anything about taking your woman to another man at church. I just said I was going to find her another man. I didn't say he had to be at church. BMU, continue on with your line of questions, sir. So, sir, did you or did you not say that this woman checks up all the boxes that, were, that, that qualifies her to be the woman in your life? I did. So why are we talking about modern women and what they do when you have the woman that's good to you? It's me being satisfied. It's more than that. So what more are you looking for from a for a woman? From what more are you looking for, Mr. Ashton, from a woman who has given you everything that you've asked for, everything that you wanted over the last few months? She has done everything that you've asked. You said you say jump. She says how high. You said if just elbow approached her, she would deny him. You said this woman is good to you. She talks good to you. She's not disrespectful to you. She's checking out all your boxes. Then what else are you looking from from this woman who has checked all the boxes? Can you tell? the court today sir what more are you looking for it's it's beautiful can, can, can i say one thing before y'all near me to the cross again well did you speak to your sir, attorney did you, you speak to your, question, excuse me excuse sir. me bmu bmu you're being a little hostile i mean argumentative sir hold on one second thank, um, thank, thank um, you, ashton thank did you, you speak to your did you speak to your attorney first sir before sure, you address you. before you address me directly i need to know that you've gotten Look, good counseling this, before this you direct is, me Trey ain't no is, help. This, I, I just asked him yeah. to name one yeah. fact about domestic violence. He he couldn't even do that. But but well, I'm just saying, well, it's, well, like, well, it's, well, it's, well, it's not it's not it's not about it's not about her. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Do y'all need a side panel? What what what? Do I need to yeah. recess or something? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. We, no, we, no, we no, but but I'm just saying, it's not. Wait a minute, Ashton. Are you? Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold one second. Ashton, are you getting rid rid of your counsel? Yes, ma'am. Uh, send him back to the to the gulag, please. Okay, okay. So, um, Councilman Trey, did you understand what that young man just said? Uh, I think I think he... it would be in the best. I think it would be in the best interest of the court to uh, have um, Ashton psychologically evaluated. Evaluated, yeah. Before okay. before he is assigned new counsel. So we need to put this in recess. Is that what you're saying? I, I, yes, ma'am. Your Honor, I think that it would be... I can, it would be, I can only imagine how y'all going to do the divorce court. You see what I'm saying? y'all doing it? Oh, my Your God. Honor, can I please... Your Honor, can I please... Can I please... First. Can I please... One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Brother, BMU, do you think this is something we should put into recess, or should we continue on? What do you think, sir? Your Honor, it can go to recess after the jury hears his answer. Wait a minute. Who does that? After? The one, yes. After okay. if he has to answer this question. Well, hold on for a minute. Let's make sure his counsel agrees with that. Councilman Trey. Oh, oh. I just said he fired. This he is how they got to You see what I'm saying? Ashton, would you would you mind answering the question and then we can recess this into another day? Yes, ma'am. I feel like y'all think I'm hostile and argumentative no, and all those things. And you're getting ready to be held in contempt. So um, could you please, uh, BMU, can you please ask the question once again, sir? My question is, you said previously in the last few weeks that this woman is everything. You tell her how high to jump, she'll jump. You tell her anything, she'll do it. She cooks for you, cleans for you, makes sure you're taken care of, speaks wells to you. And you also quoted to the court under oath, I may add, that this woman has checked off all boxes and that you require for her to be a good woman in your life. Is that correct, sir? Yes, officer. So therefore, sir, if this woman is checking off all the boxes, why are you worried about what other modern women are doing instead of worrying about what this good woman is doing that you have lying next to you? Why is this, not, this woman not good enough to be your wife when she checks off all the boxes for you to be married? I'm sir, can you answer that for the court? I can because this is exactly what happened in marriages. It don't matter how good or how many bosses she checked. The one day that she get hung up on a word that I, uh, quote that I said, she can easily 
So you're, what you're saying, Mr. Ashton, what, you, what, you, so, what, hold on, there. what you're saying is one day you're looking forward for this woman to be the negative thing that you're seeing in all these other women. So therefore, you're saying that this woman is not the woman for you. and She does not check off all the boxes for you because you said one day she may turn into the very women you see in the world, but you don't see that in her now, but you're sitting in her later. Is that what you're saying, Ashton? Tell the jury right now. Is that no, what you're no, saying? No, no. That that's not what I'm saying. I'm I'm saying it happens, and there's other dynamics to it. So why are and you worried about sure what happens to other and other couples, sir? When you say that this woman is everything, is this woman everything or is this woman nothing? Can you answer the question for the court, sir? Our pain, you're killing me. Oh Lord, okay, all right. So listen. We're going to have to take a little recess. Um, you know what, Ashton, if you want to hire other counsel or if you would like to go back and get Trey and, you know, brief him a little bit longer on your situation, you can definitely do that. But for now, we're going to take a break and we're going to go through our Super Chats and we will be back in just a moment. Uh, BMU, is there anything that you have to add before we go off to uh, recess? Yeah, Your Honor, may I approach the bench? Yes, sir. Your Honor. Yes, sir. This young man has literally described this woman as a wife. Yes. But he chooses not to wife her up. Yes. Ma'am, he is guilty of not marrying a good woman. Guilty. Okay. All right. So, okay, like I said, uh, we're going into recess and, and get that little faulty thing you just did right there. You're trying to, uh, you know, what, the, what they call it when you're trying to bribe the judge, you'll be in contempt for that, sir. Mm -hmm. Make sure you be careful with that. Even though the judge <laughs> agrees with you. <laughs> Even though the judge it's agrees right. with you. <laughs> So anyway, y'all, let's do these super chats. Uh, James, thank you so much for your five, $2 super chat. He says the sympathetic is real out there in these streets. He said a simping black man. Yeah. simping. Be love. Thank you so much for your dollar nine nine cents super chat. BMU, have, have you been to IBOC? What is IBOC? Yeah. IBOC. It's a church okay. that has a, uh, that has a, uh, a million dollar uh, fish aquarium in it. Wow, a million dollar fish aquarium. Mm -hmm. I hope everybody in the church full. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, uh, B love again. Thank you for your dog nine nine super chat. Ashton has cool watch from who? Tim, you yeah, what kind of watch? <laughs> you silly. All right, let's go to the next. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh marriage politics and sports thank you sir for your five dollar super chat he says stop it ashton so it's so it's the old heads yeah he's trying to put it on us that's okay that's okay all knowledge is not what you want but it's what you need thank you marriage politics and sports tell him our pain he, oh he know what's up dr insight and perspective doc was there that day let's see what doc got to say thank you so much for your ten dollar super chat he says shout out sb i said the last that he was on mm, it doesn't it does not work the way a person's persuaded against their will is of the same per, per, Oh, persuasion steel. I was there and I can attest to what he is saying. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> I know. No, I don't know, Doc. I don't know. He told us that that girl would jump high and he don't have these issues and he don't have his problem. Look, we're going to put a one out for his arrest, too, because I don't see him. This is only recess. So um, thank you again, R. Payne. He says the world, according to Ashton. Absolutely. And again, thank you for your $5 super chat. He says, Ashton R. Payne, here I am on your side. Take a leap. <laughs> Percent month is enough. Just get a prenup if you are scared. I don't think Ashton is afraid of losing anything. Did he say anything about that? Black man? He's a, yeah. Well, he what he's saying is the, what, the, what the jury is saying right now in those super chats okay. is that he is afraid. And because he continues to repeat over and over again, the world, you know what's going on in the world today, how these women are in the world today. He's talking about other women in the world, and he's not describing the woman who he is with, the woman that he's with right now. He described her clearly, Your Honor, as a woman of of, of good standing, a wife. He Everything that he said about her defines her as a wife. Now, the reason that he does not want to get married, the jury thinks that he's afraid to be married to a woman because he's scared that she'll turn out like all the other women that hurt him. Am I right, Mr. Ashton? Well, he's he's left. He We got to put out a one out for his arrest. He just, you know, he just court. That's how oh, my God. It. He left the courtroom? He Oh, he. Oh wait a minute. Maybe not. The recess is over. We're going to see. But listen, let me say this. 
not only did he describe her as that, he also just said that this woman has outstanding coordination. Um, jump how high is high, as I say, and he don't have these type of problems. I mean, I don't understand what would make her change because usually, well, I guess now that we know it's only been a few months, meaning he's thinking that her representative is still showing up and not the real her. So I understand him a bit on that. So can you be a little less argumentative and, and try to, you know, console the brother just a little bit? But I'm not down with him using a good woman. I'm still wanting to add her to the list of good women if he doesn't have um, intentions on marrying someone. Now, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, I just want him to have the your, intentions your on being married. Yes, sir. Your Honor? Yes, sir. Uh, his counsel... Uh, just sent me a letter. He said, BMU, let's talk plea deal. Oh, okay. What's the plea going to be about? Okay. We, but have y'all discussed that with um, Ashton? His counsel? Uh, has he? You have to discuss it with his client. You have to discuss that with your client before we can be agreed upon anything. I say right? that he's guilty. He should have five years on an island of singleness. So let me... Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Say that again? Wait a minute. How can you... Wait a minute. I'm the judge. What you doing? Don't I got on the Wonder Woman machine? What you doing? You taking sorry, my Your job. Honor. I'm sorry, Your what? Honor. You just going to run the... I, re <laughs> like I recommend man. five years in the island of singleness. Black man, you just going to run the whole courtroom. Is that how you going to be? I'm sorry. That means we can't listen to nothing you say because it's very prejudiced. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, but listen. Okay, but wait a minute. I just read a comment. I think Leek Le Le said it. He says he's... She says he's afraid of getting hurt. So let me ask you a question. When you in a, are in a devoted relationship with someone um, and you've decided to live with them, I don't know if that's his situation or not. I don't know if they're living together. But don't you tend to become, you know, into each other, loving each other? Isn't there still that element of being hurt um, if for some reason something doesn't work out or if she does something wrong to hurt you or if you do something wrong to hurt her? Isn't that, isn't that still there that we could still hurt each other? Yeah. In marriage, in marriage, that's why people should not focus on uh, happiness. <clears throat> they should focus on moments of joy because that can happen. And there's not a marriage uh, I know that's that a man hadn't done anything to hurt his wife's feelings, unintentionally, or intentionally, um, and a, and a wife hadn't hurt her husband's feelings or intentionally or unintentionally. Absolutely. Um, Not even knowing, like you said, unintentional or intentional. It can happen, right. but that's the, that's the basis of a relationship. That's the basis of a marriage. You know what? We, right. we come together to make each other better. I it's, it's Ashton. Ashton, I hope you can hear me. We come together to make each other better. But in the meantime, we're pulling, we're peeling back, peeling, y'all know I'm country, peeling back all the dysfunction that we've grown up in, y'all. And we got it. Everybody got some dysfunction and everybody has some sort of trauma that we have to deal with. But when we come into these marriage relationships, we're peeling back all this stuff and we'll be coming together we're coming, we're coming together to make each other better. That's the point of being married to someone, to be better. Okay, now in the meantime, the mystery of all of this is becoming one with that person. That does not mean that you're not going to fall out. That doesn't mean that you all can't hurt each other. But it means that this person that you did this with or who did this to you, that particular person, that one and only is the one that you're willing to walk this through with. Right. You know, even though you hurt me, my life is still better with you. Right. Even though I hurt you, I still love you and you need to know it. It wasn't my intentions. That's right. what that person represents. And that's what we have to get people to know. And I think that that is what we're missing because today's society, and I hope Ashton is listening, um, people are so individually, can I say this, individually selfish. I should say selfish, period. And and they're not willing to work out those issues when the issues come up. But, but how in the world, like you just said, black man, how are we going to make each other happy? Happy. How would we how would we begin to do that? Do you know how off women are sometimes? Do you know how emotionally irrational we can be? You know? uh, yep. Happiness is a selfish state of mind. You know, we'll put anything together. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you you grow, you get older, you become wiser, and you understand that dog, that stuff I used to get mad about when we were five years in, it's crazy. I'm thinking about it now, and I understand that this man had no intentions or he didn't even know what was going on in my big fat head, you know? Right. So I, we're going to have to bring Ashton back up. Ashton, are you there? Oh, he's he's silent. He's on radio silence. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I'm here. 
Okay, did you have time to talk to your counsel? Are you ready to do some type of plea bargain? Or are you, you know, are you just going to let it go? Should we just, you know, do you want to pay a fine? How do you want to settle this, sir? No, uh, I'm plead uh, not guilty. Not guilty of what, sir? Not guilty of what? Wasting her, wasting her time? How I, I wasting all time? I'm, I'm asking. I'm it was a question. It was a question. It was a question. What you pleading guilty, um, not guilty to? Whatever being you accusing me of, I don't even know. He, he blowing man. my mind. I know. I have. I, yeah. I, I put you. This. I should have been a lawyer. Listen. You know what? Um, Ashton. Absolutely. You know what you should. You done, Ashton. You got two lines, baby. What this you should have done. What's what's that being you? I'm sorry. What you should have. What you should have done with a woman like this who you're describing. So many men out here are looking to start a family and marry a woman like that. And all I'm asking you here is in front of the court and the jury in the comments. I'm just asking that you don't waste time with a woman who would be snatched off the market the day you let her go. You said I've been talking about the love of my life all in positive manner, and y'all just started trying to take her away from me. What? No, no, no. I said you described her as a wife, but you're not ready for her to be your wife. But BMU, this is what what is wrong with me taking my time? Like I don't understand. There's nothing, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You what you what you should do. Um, because a lot of me I've known I've known men, not all, but some, who said I'm taking my time and seventeen years later, three kids in, they're still not married. Um, but but do I, think, do I sound like they're being you honestly? No, no, no. I, I, I know no, you're not buddy, buddy. I, I didn't say that was you, sir. I'm just saying. Yeah, but but y'all been I, throwing these these anecdotal cousins and and brother in laws <laughs> y'all know out there. I, I want you. I want you to that you, when you describe this woman, I am an advocate for you marrying her and and being with her for the rest of your life because she makes you a better person. You speak very highly of this woman and so um you're taking your t you know what let me tell you something you taking your t you say you, you know what's wrong with taking your time what more uh do you think in your mind in your spirit in your heart how much more do you need to see to understand that she's the one you're, you're the one that you want to spend the rest of your life with uh, yeah i make it seem like i'm waiting 10 years that's the no, no, no. I didn't say, no, we're not talking about the years. I'm saying, I'm asking you how much time, I mean, I'm asking you when it comes to this beautiful woman who has everything that you desire, how much time have you set aside before you say, you know what? This is the woman I want to make an honest woman. It ain't going to be over two years, so can I, can I get that? It ain't going to be and no it, more it, than and in that two years, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here. In that two years that you're that you're waiting and taking your time, what are you doing in 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 those two years? Um, that's going to be you know that's going to be good for the relationship, and and what what could potentially be after the two years. I mean, I, I feel like I'm I'm coming in good faith, and I want to make sure that my family is secured and. We don't have to look over our shoulder. I, I, I don't know if I'm saying it in y'all way of, of of vocabulary, but I just want to make sure that we okay and and we not stressing or hurting no time or anytime soon. I I just want to make sure that we are covered. Let me ask you this: Are you are you are you struggling now? No, but I I, I mean I. I I just want to make sure that we are okay. It, it's it's not about us not being okay, but it's just I want to make sure. Even if my my girlfriend having a bad day, I want to say, take a week off and go here, enjoy yourself. Uh, it, it, it's not that it's not nothing negative. Uh, the things right. that I speak of, it's just I I want to make sure that I'm covered and I want her to be covered two hundred percent. So, do you have a financial plan? And, and because you said two years, do you have a financial plan that would get you to that number that you think will keep her safe? 
uh, or or to keep her from looking over her shoulder or or for her to take a week off in two uh, years? It, yeah. It, it, it's, it's really less time than that, but I just want to set a, a, a time for myself and make sure that I have enough time and, you know, not not rush anything because me personally, just one miscommunication or, or one bad conversation can ruin an entire relationship. And I have seen that happen a lot. And I just want to make sure that that's not the case. This, this is really one of the first relationships that I have actually been open and honest. Is it possible that you're following the in the footsteps of someone in your family who has done the same thing? Um, honestly, no, because do you have a family member who want, who who thinks like that that says I got to have everything before I do anything? No, but but that's that's the thing. Like I, my mama was a feminist a higher ranking feminist SBU. Like the stuff that women hear today, if if she told y'all what she did for my daddy and and made sure that he was okay or what she did for him, any woman would say, oh, she had to leave, she need to leave him or or he she should have never helped in that type of way. And a lot of people don't get that. Like I just want to make sure that we okay, she okay, and she what knows that okay I can mean? have that. When you say you mm -hmm. want to make sure you're okay, what does that mean? Define okay. I want to make sure that we're comfortable. And what does comfortable, comfortable look like? What does that look like? I, I can't explain my comfortable from your comfortable, but that's all no, I'm no, saying. I'm, like, asking, I'm, I'm asking you're comfortable. When you say I want us I, to be I, comfortable, I, what are you saying? What does it look like? I mean, BMU, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I can't explain it to you because the stuff that I say sometimes, like, people don't don't gravitate to it, and I understand it, so I'd rather just not say it now. And, and I, all along, I have been not saying it, and when I the one time I do talk to y'all, it's like y'all holding me up to it and saying I'm not doing it. Like, no, 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 that's not what, what we're doing right now. I'm having a conversation I mean, with you. I'm saying, you, but, but, but I'm saying, BMU, like, that's the that's what happened in most situations. Right. So let me ask you a question. Can, can if I you ask were a to quick... ask, yeah, if you were to ask me, hey, black man, when you want to get, when you want her to be comfortable, what does that mean? That means, and I would say to you, okay, yeah, I want to make sure that I have a stable place to live. I want to make sure that we're in a great neighborhood to raise our children. I want to make sure that she understands what my role is in this relationship as far as being a leader. Uh, being a father to our children, our future children, uh, making sure that we have some stability in what church we go to, make sure that we're real, well known in the scripture to make sure we're following what God wants us to do and make sure we understand the umbrella of what God is. God over man, man over woman, woman over children uh, from the direction of her husband. That's what I want to make sure of. And when I get to that point, then I'm going to make this woman my wife because there's no, there's no reason and no reason at all that I should wait any further if I've already got everything I need and she and we've checked off all those boxes and we understand each other. Mm -hmm. If you were to ask me that, that's what I would say. So when I ask you what your comfortable looks like, what does your comfortable look like? But, but that's what I'm saying, BM. You just use alone saying man over woman, woman over children. You can't say that in today's age around women. So I, I can't so how does your woman feel about it? Take all the other women out of it. Do you not you're not dating other women? What does your woman say about you being over her and her over your future children? What does she think? How I mean, does she, she feel? She, she, she know that already, honestly, but I'm just saying she's like she's a wife. Yeah, she is. So uh, us us waiting is not me trying to hurt or, or use her up, but look how y'all turn it and I'm just saying if we was married. Not even just me. It, it happens. Okay, so can I, have I ask a, a question? Let me ask a question because yes, I, I missed something or I heard something incorrectly. But let's let's go back a little bit. Now, understand this. We just got serious. All that other stuff we was doing was a joke. But I heard you say something and it seemed to me to be a very large influence on you and who you are as a man. So I want to talk about it for just a second or get some clarity on it. You mentioned that your mother was a feminist. Did I hear that correctly? Yes, ma'am. So your mother being a feminist mean, 
meant to you that she wants to be or wanted to be very equal to your dad. Is that what you're saying? No, no ma'am. My, my, my mother played a feminist outside the household. She didn't bring that in the house. Okay. Okay. I don't, I, I don't, and, I didn't. And for you, a lot of women saw what she was doing or, or thought they saw what she was doing and they, that's what's going on today. They, they think that she didn't have to pay bills and wanted to live the life that she had. And just like I said, that my dad bought her a car every year. Y'all said that that's not, that that's not good enough. Or how do I know? Wait like that's minute. what. No, we said, how did you know? Because if your mom, if your mom and dad got married prior to you being born, how would you know the years what happened the years prior to you being born? That's what the question was. But wait a minute, let's go back. If you can, without being too graphic or telling too much, how do you be a feminist outside of your home when that is exactly where the fact, that's where it's actually shown most because that is where you have to, you know, that's where the power structure is, is within your home. So how has she been a feminist on the outside of the home and not in the inside of the home, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, you, you don't know how the feminist movement operate, SBU? Yeah, they equal to men, but you said she didn't bring it home. That's what that's the point I'm trying to make. So, so, and what other relationships did she have with men outside the home on her job? No, she ain't had no relationships outside of the home. But I'm just saying, is she she played this high and mighty independent woman outside, or it looked like it to other women, and that's what they wanted, and that's what they tried to install in, in my mama or uh, take her advice. And the whole time she was up onto my daddy, making sure I'm good and not living this fast lifestyle that they thought she was doing. Okay. So that's, my, that's, that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. How does it look when I'm doing, okay. How does it look on the outside to others? Oh, uh, cause it sounds like to me what you're saying. And I agree with it. Your dad took care of your mom. Your mom was definitely up underneath your father like she was supposed to be and then children underneath her. So that was her home life. And she catered to and loved her husband, which is what she's supposed to do. But on the outside of the home, she what did she do? How did they see her as being independent and not in a good marriage? How did they what did she do to portray that? They, they put words in her mouth and assumed that you, you get what I'm saying? That she was just this this woman that don't need nobody or uh, didn't take from my dad or help my daddy, and she went along with it. Mm. She she was like, yeah, you, you could be independent too. Like, that's what... So, so, oh, that's I got what, you. I got you now. I just heard you, you saying, okay, in okay. other words, instead of her saying how she actually was living her life at home as a wife, she promoted, get your... Okay, I got it now, Austin. Ashton, because sure. a lot of women do that because uh, women will stay married for years to their husbands, but then go out in the world and complain about how they're being treated and won't leave. Okay, I got it. I, I see what you're talking about. So, now. But, but, now, that's, but that's the thing. Now that's now you, like, she, now, she wasn't now, really Ashton, complaining. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill, you. No, no, no. Now I now this is coming full circle for me. Now I truly understand why yeah. you're you're afraid to get married. Mm -hmm. You're afraid to get no, married. No, because wait, 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 hold on, hold on, you, I mean, hold on, Bill, you like my mama was happy. But it's the fact that she couldn't keep telling everybody or, or trying to correct them, so she just let it happen. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, right. it, it's yeah. not what what goes on in the household. It's still people in the outside world that don't know and try to diminish right. your right. your home and and do whatever possible. Like my mm -hmm. her own family thought that you know my my daddy was a bad man. But right. you get what I'm saying? She so she wouldn't right. defend. She, she wouldn't home. defend. And she wouldn't defend your dad. Right. No, she no, she, no, she, she, she would, or, or maybe, maybe she wouldn't one time. But the fact I, I had to, I heard it while I'm not paying attention. So maybe they went behind her back, which, which I feel like they did. But you get what I'm saying? Y'all putting words in her mouth, or she just went along with it, and everybody don't understand that. And it's people on the outside that ruin their life or follow behind her, trying to be this woman that they think she is, or assume she is, and it happens. Right. And now, I watched let, it happen. Let me, tell you, let, me, let me tell you something because um, let me give you a comparison uh, of, of my mother or, or and or my grandmother. My mother and my grandmother, they worked. My grandmother and my grandfather were married for 63 years. My mom and dad have been married for 40. And they're still married to this day. My grandfather passed away 
God rest his soul. My grandmother was in her feminine energy in the house, and she was an example of that femininity outside the house. And the reason that right now I'm that, that I said things have come full circle for me in my mind with you is the reason that you don't want to get married now is because you don't want you are waiting to see if your woman will go out and do the same thing that your mother did. Right? No, nah, that's where we disconnected. That's where we disconnected because that, that's not my fear. I, I I know what went on and that's not my case. Okay. Like so what so what is it that it has to be something, right? It has I'm to just, be something I'm, that but makes that, that's, you that's, have that, that's been my whole that's been my whole top uh point of view the entire time. Times have changed. Okay, so what has it's changed not, for so what what, it's, what changed? It's, not, it's not just about my my box my box is being checked. I want to make sure that we are okay, that there is nothing that can come between us. Even though I feel like nothing can come between us now, I just want to make sure and double check and triple check. So so let me tell you from a person who's married. Um <laughs> if you try I, I see what you're saying. If you're trying to prevent things from coming between y'all. And you, that's the reason why you're not getting married and you want to make sure we're, you're okay. When you get married, when you get married, those things are coming, regardless of you're married or you're not. They're coming. They're coming. It's, it's inevitable. It's coming. You're going to have problems. You're going to have roadblocks. You're going to have layoffs. You're going to have, you, you, sometimes you may have a job. Sometimes you may not. Money going to get bad. Kids going to get bad. Kids going to get better. Kids going to get worse. You're going to have issues in <laughs> with your co work. Like nothing is, when you, you cannot prepare yourself for what marriage is going to bring. Yes, you can. You can prepare yourself to withstand it, but you got to know what's coming. It's going to come with So when you're saying I'm waiting to be okay, I'm waiting for me to be better. I'm waiting on me to be, um, uh, you know, where nothing can come between us. Something's, even if you do everything you're supposed to do now and then get married, something's still going to come between you. There's still going to be arguments. There's still going to be things that come up that you didn't prepare yourself for. I'm telling you from a person that's inside on the, on the inside of it. So if you're waiting for that, and you're saying I'm waiting on us to be okay and waiting on that. Then, when you get married, it's coming. Whether you prepare, whether you did all, whether you went down the boxes and said check, 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 check. When you get married, things are going to happen. Uh, security boss, how long you been married? Twenty eight years in November. Have uh, in the last ten years, have you had issues in your marriage? Absolutely. Absolutely. But let me hear something, um, Austin. If you Ashton, I'm calling you Austin now. Ashton, can you tell us in your own words what has changed? What has changed? Tell me in this generation. Yeah, you just said that some things have changed. You said um, it's not about that. It's not about this. Um, what you need to know is that some things have changed. I want to know from you what, because those things that have changed are the things that's keeping you. So I just want to know what those things are that have changed. Uh -huh. I mean, it, it's it's not keeping me SBU. It's just I see it, and it it's 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 not an issue. But I mean, if it happens so much, should I not be worried? I'm not saying it's gonna happen to me, but should should can I at least wait until I'm 100 percent ready? Absolutely, and absolutely. I just want to know what it is. Can, can I ask you a question though? Real, just real quick, uh -huh. and you can get back to that. When was the last time you left the house? Today? And where did you go? H E B to the park. Uh when, you went, went on, uh, when you went to the park, did you sit down? When you went to the park, did you sit down? <laughs> no, we we just walked and then we went to go get something to eat. Oh, when you went to eat, y'all sat down and ate? Yeah. Before she sat down, before you sat down, did you check the, the chairs, looked under them, picked them up? And looked under the chairs to see if they were loose before you sat in them, or did y'all just sit down? Uh, I mean, it, it was a booth, so I didn't really have to check. Did you, did you get think. under the booth to make sure it wouldn't collapse when your wife sat down or you sat down on it? Did you check it? <laughs> he 
got him up underneath the booth. Man, you you may use a, a a table from 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 IKEA to it is my relationship example. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 I'm going somewhere. Did you go when you went to the restaurant today? Did you look at the booth and the table to make sure it was secure before you sat down? No, nah, I didn't have my contacts in today. So you sat. So you just sat down. Yes, sir. Welcome to marriage. That's what it is. You sit down and you have faith that it's going to be stable. You have faith that it's not going to collapse. You're not thinking about it collapsing. You're not thinking about how negative it's going to be. You're not thinking about it's going to roll over and hot tea going to burn our skin. You're not thinking about it. You're just sitting down. You didn't have to check it because you have faith enough to know that this is going to last. This is, this is, this is, this is the same thing with marriage. You, you didn't have to look at the booth. If you got a good woman, you don't have to look. You don't have to look under her either. You already know she's stable, and you can sit there and you can lay there. You can have children there. You can trust there. You, you, you guys are good for each other. She's good for you. You're good for her. She speaks well highly of you. You speak highly of her. She even jumps higher than you because you say jump. I, I understand that 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 must be on you, but I'm just saying like. It's, can you can you just it's, go it's back? Not about, it's not it's not about us. It, it's it's just things happen sometimes. It's be it happened to the best of us. It happened to the worst of us. Like some I agree. people, I agree. some some things just happen. It, one, one day somebody wake up on the wrong side of the bed and ready to throw it away. It happens. I get that. But wait I a just minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not. I can't agree with that. I don't think it happens that way. I think that that is a very wrong statement. I don't think people just wake you, up and you, you don't think so. You, you, you nope. don't think. Nope. One person out of this entire world just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and just said, I'm going to get benefits, alimony, child support. Why not? I don't think it happens that way. Because no, I mean, no, I'm, I'm talking about the way it's that you process. I'm talking about the way that you just, you know, explained it. I think that people do break up and then it gets to a point where they say, I think we should get a divorce. But I promise you that situation was brewing and probably had been brewing for some time, maybe even longer than the longer than the time you've been dating that woman that you with right now. It's not something you wake up because, listen, a marriage relationship is one of the biggest relationships, one of the biggest decisions you will ever make in your life. It's And when it doesn't work, it's like almost like a death. So nobody is looking for death. That's not mm. something we just go after. So the fact that the matter that you say that that person just woke up and decided to do something, it was brewing. It was a brewing process. There was a lot of times where there was a lack of communication. There was a lot of times where uh, people missed those opportunities to be nice to each other, to love each other, to be kind to each other. All that happened to the point when we woke up that morning. We just decided on that particular day, this is the day that I am going to be selfish and I'm going to take my life back. I'm going to divorce this person. So ultimately, they divorced because they were selfish and they wanted their life back. But the process of getting there, it was not an overnight situation. It was not. But but hold on for a minute. Can we go back and you tell me what it is again? You said you keep seeing it and, and it keeps, you know, you just want to make sure you can wait your way through it. What is it? I, I mean, maybe y'all stay in, in Mayberry or something, but I grew up in Memphis. It's okay. you like I have seen a lot of things, and I'm just asking what they are. It's the, yeah, I grew up in Mayberry. Go ahead. What what, what happens? I, in no, no, you, no, 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 no. You, I'm, I'm just saying, like a lot of people haven't seen some of the stuff that I've seen. And I agree. It, I agree. I'm agreeing with you. How old are you, Ashton? Thirty-two. Okay. I'm yeah. You Ashton, in, I'm agreeing with you though. I, I'm agreeing. Yeah. I'm in Mayberry. Yeah, I, I, I'm not this for you, but I'm, but I'm just saying, like it, 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 I can't put it in in a word form. Like stuff just happened off j just the, it being hot that day, or it, it being cold. Like stuff happens sometimes. It's for you. It, it's it's not avoidable with some people. Oh, you so okay. So what it, you're saying is it? It could be anything. Yes, anything. Oh, like, okay. Gosh, I thought it was a particular mindset, thing though, pertaining to a, right. a with marriage. With that mindset, I got you. though, Ashton. With that mindset, though, Ashton, <laughs> you're looking at everything that could go wrong before you do something that's so right. I, I, I'm, I'm not being. I just wanted to have the, the conversation with y'all because a lot of people don't understand it. Like, I, I'm, I'm not negative or jaded. It's just you know when I have these certain, it's hard to have these certain conversations with people and. They don't take light to it. And I no. get it. I understand it. They they grew up in a different time or a different area or a different city. 
But for me to op- t- to tell you something that I know that you probably don't get or understand, and you you reject it, that that that's part of that make my point even valid. But you're not telling us anything. You're just saying it happens. It happens in Mayberry. Right. It happens yeah. in Memphis. It happens all over the world. We can't keep it from happening. Now, if you had a particular story, then I could say, hey, I ain't I don't know nothing about that. But they said that even wouldn't be true because I'm almost I'm old enough to be your mama. So yeah, I'm pretty it, sure I'm pretty sure I've seen more ish in it than you have. So the fact is, I'm trying to relate to your it so we can have this conversation because I want to know how it, you know, plays into a marriage relationship. Because guess what? Just like you got the dim, uh, the doom and groom it, I got the happy stories of the uh, marriage also. <laughs> that, it's the you, I just want to tell you my, my, my little stories. You know what I'm saying? Like, I it's, it's nothing. You, listen, but I've asked you about your stories, man. Listen, but what I'm saying to you, you say people don't want to hear this. And I'm saying to you, no, 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 listen, don't do that. Because we are listening to you and trying to understand whatever the issues are you may have. And we have not once said anything about the good stories in all these many years that we done spent with our mates and how much we love in life being married and having this type of companionship. We haven't said not one thing. We we haven't said anything about the pleasure it is to come home to have somebody smiling or have my husband come home and I take off his boots and rub his bald head. This ain't nothing new as a black man. Don't I say this all the time? All yeah, the time. All the time. That's what that's what a good woman will do for you. And a good man, guess what a good man do? They take care of you. They cover you. They keep you. They, they give you the discipline that you lack. They give you the logic that women definitely need because we're so emotional. So we don't, we, we're not pushing that up on you. We're trying to figure out what your it is. So right. And, let, and a, good woman will, a good woman will be with you in a seven bedroom house. And a good woman will be with you in a one bedroom apartment. Let's an even go greater farther. woman would be, be with, with you, you in a cardboard box while I was running Absolutely. Outside. You ain't got to make but $5. Yeah, if you a good man, on. if you a good man, come she'll on. be with you as long as you got she's a plan. With mm-hmm. She's with you because you're valuable, not because of what the value what you, you bring, but because you as a man is valuable to her. And she knows that we in this situation right now, but we ain't going to be here long because I know my man is valuable. But, but but can you honestly say that that's what goes on in today modern I'm relationships? I'm not worried about you? today. I'm worried about your I, girl, I, the woman you with. I, I, I ain't give a damn about all the other women. I don't care about the modern world. I don't care about the. You got to get away from that ass and you making excuses now, and I'm holding you accountable. I'm just having a conversation. You, 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 yes, we both making excuses. You said you got what you you said making a conversation being polite. You said you got the woman of your dreams. That's what you said. I'm not well, talking about no, the modern no, say it, woman. Say it, woman different. Ain't modern. say it different, Brack man. Tell him. So he asked the question: Is that what goes on in today's time? Guess what? It may not, but that's what you say you got. Exactly. You, you say you got that type of woman, but, but let's, let's answer that question, Ashton. Just like you have some fears and some concerns, there are women out there too that have those same fears and concerns, but they are willing to meet a man that is a husband and they willing to make all types of adaptments and adjustments to being the wife, just like those husbands who have those fears of meeting that modern woman who, who refuses to submit and respect there. Y'all are both in, at the same thing, but it all depends on what you want and what you're willing to do. So right where you are, there's a woman out there at the same position, but for you, you just say it, you met a woman, you got a woman. Now we haven't even talked to your woman. We just talking to you. But if she would turn around and say the same thing that you're saying, it would tell me that y'all on the right track. Take your time. Do what you got to do. But just don't waste anyone's time, the both of you. But put in the work. Whatever it is that you don't know about, whatever it is you need to learn, seek that. If you think you're going to have a problem with money, put the money out on the table and y'all walk it through dissect money if you think sex is what y'all gonna have a problem with in your marriage relationship put sex on the table not literally and just walk that thing out figure out what y'all got to do whatever it is what it, you know put feminist put modern times put all that on the table and walk it out and if the answers don't match up if you all don't don't align completely then guess what as long as neither party is on no then you all doing good because we are, I'm a woman, you a man, your woman is a woman, and you a man. Y'all not going to think just alike. That is, you're not supposed to. That's what you bring to the table. So, I hope I answered your yes, question, sir. I, 
I, I, I promise I understand and get y'all. I swear okay. I do, but it, it's, it's a disconnect somewhere. I don't, I don't we, know. We where trying to figure bro, out. You tell us. You tell us what's disconnect. Let me, let me, let me, okay, let, you got um, it. Y'all have, y'all have took me to court. Listen, hold on, hold on. The only oh, but that was a joke, though. Black man, we right, serious now. Only, that was a joke. But it's not that Tory Lane. Hold on, hold on, Ashton. Hold on, Ashton. The only disconnect is this is that you're more concerned about what could happen than what is happening. And when you put your mindset on what could happen versus what is happening, then you're always going to be in what ain't happening, right? Because ain't no marriage, ain't no kids, ain't none of that going to happen because you say, y'all don't know, y'all don't understand the world today where you have the woman that's in your world. Why are you, are you, are you, are you, are you afraid that she may turn into these modern women? You think that she's going to get up one day and say, Ashton, get your, get your ass up and get out this house. I'm divorcing you. Right. Because if you're not thinking that about her, then we don't have anything else to talk about because everybody else don't matter. The only people that should matter in this conversation is you and the woman that you have described to us as a wife. And those kind of women, like the people are saying in the chat right now, if you're reading it, those women are hard to come by. And if you have one, you need to take advantage of the greatness that you have. You got a woman that ain't out there throwing that ass back, right? She ain't out there twerking on on signs. She ain't out there telling people she need to get her cat scratched, right? She not telling. She, she not out here. She she could have because SBU told me to get her email address. Then turn around and say she gonna put her on one of her men after the. You get what I'm saying? I have to, yeah. She was joking with you. I'm you gotta get mad for being safe and insecure. But hold on, and hold on. Then, that separate reality from comedy. We were joking with you on that one. I'm saying. Wait a minute. Did I even say I don't that? Know that? Did I? Oh, you, girl, okay, okay, do I got the joking? email address? Did you give it to me? I did. <laughs> so my thing is, is, is your is your girl out here twerking? Is she hiding her cell phone from you? Is she is she sneaking out at night, going to meet with different people? Uh, are she doing all these things that don't you see the modern women doing right now? The the people that you say the world right now, do you see her doing that? Why why when I bring up the world, y'all say don't worry about it, then y'all bring the world. Asking you, you, is your woman a part of the world? Has she been consumed by the world and acts like she's a part of that world? I, I, I don't know what, what what it was before me, but I'm saying it. It, it, no, no, no. I'm talking about while she's with you. I'm not going to talk about before. I'm talking about with. Right now, no. the woman that you see right now, is she out there in the world throwing that ass back uh, on Instagram half-ass naked? Uh, she talked to you any kind of way and treats you like crap. Is that the woman that you're with right now? No. So, okay, so why are we worried about anything? I'm not worried, but I just want to have the conversation with my two new black YouTube friends. And we can't have it. If I can't have the conversation with my friends, what happened three years down the line? If I can't have it with my friends, what's going to happen when I'm married? You see, what I'm, that's all I'm saying. It, and it happens. That, that's all I'm saying is it happens. I'm not saying it's me, but I just want to make sure that those things are in check and in order. Ashton, we right, agree with you. But you cannot do it. Hold on, I got a scare. You cannot do it, Ashton. It's, I'm just going to be honest with you. Friends tell friends the truth. And I'm telling you the truth. You cannot prepare for it. You cannot say, I'm going to get everything together first. I got to make sure everything is right first. I got to do this first. It's, it doesn't matter. It's, it's going to come. Money problems are going to come, whether you're married to her or not. Money problems coming. Haters are coming. People that don't like her coming. People that don't like you coming, people that don't like your mama coming, people that don't like her. It's coming. It's coming. It's going to come. You cannot prepare. You cannot get a book out and write in the book, today, I'm going to prepare that nobody can come between me and my girl. They coming. Whether you well, man, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. You, 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 you know nobody else has this conversation that we have right now in the entire yeah. world? Do, do you know that? I know that. I know that, Ashton. We, that, yeah, listen, I know that. I know that. We appreciate yeah. you for it too. We don't have to get too Absolutely. deep. You know, we've been playing with you for most part. We got a little serious, but yeah. we, we understand, but, and we but, appreciate but, but, the fact that you're talking too. So this is a good thing, in my opinion. This is a good thing. But, I hope but, you think but, so. That, that's all I'm saying is, but you, the conversation that we having right now, mm -hmm. it doesn't happen. And I've been getting a lot of pushback from y'all in, in the chat too. 
Yes, you be making some wild faces now. Don't, don't do that. But I'm, I'm, My face but I'm tells the story. You, yeah, I know what you're saying, Ashley. But, no, but, no, sincerely, but we but understand you. Like, this is what goes on in the modern world. Like the just me trying to have a conversation with the father could could just go sideways and that ruin our relationship because mm. most women look up to their father. It, it's not just me being secure or us being financially straight. It's just I need her to know that it's us against the world. And just one bad advice, I have seen it ruin a thousand relationships. So, Ashton, listen, I got a story for that. I have a story for everything, don't I? Gosh. Yeah, I, I, I do too. And I don't mind having <laughs> Listen, this is true, though. Um, with me and Mr. Yeah, Bates, yeah what you saying? I'll be lying to you? Uh-huh. You be lying? What you say? I'll be lying? You know that it be true, though. That, that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. What? I said I got a story... I said, and I, I said, said I do too. That's why I like talking to you. And you said, yeah, it'd be true. You see what I'm saying? You so slick. I said, you know yeah, mean? it'd be true. No, I didn't. No, okay. I didn't. No, okay. I, I didn't. If I didn't say that, I didn't say anything about that. I mean, I agree with you. If you have one for everything too, I agree. I had no. I don't know what you're talking about, Ashton. Wrong on that one. Listen, let me tell you about my story. In the very beginning of our relationship, me and Mr. Boss, my mom did not like or care for men. Um, she had developed a disdain for men due to her marriage relationship even though she was still married it was one of those things like kind of what you're saying you know even though you know dad was providing and doing things at home she was a wife she cooked she cleaned she did that to she to her death but she still didn't want her daughters to actually um be in relationship that's how I felt anyway I was the baby so maybe it was just something special put aside for me I don't know but anyway she ain't like my husband so when we first got married, we said to us, ourselves, me and my husband said, look, for the first five years of our relationship, it's just got to be me and you against the world. Because we knew that or we felt that our relationship was too fragile. A new marriage is too fragile to expose outside influence, especially those strong influences like dad, mom, you know, family members. Those people have a very strong influence on, um, you know, the, the, the husband and the wife or whoever, you know, the kids. So we said early on, we got to break everybody out of our lives for at least five years. And for five years, it was just me and my husband and we were going to take on the world together. And when I say that, we didn't deal with nobody. I mean, honestly, it might have been a call here and there. It might have been a drive by, hey, but there was no conversation, no running to anyone to discuss anything. We weren't looking for any any kind of advice or nothing. No advice, no money, no nothing. If if we fail, it was gonna be us failing together. It wasn't gonna be because of some outside force, be it mama, daddy, grandma, granddaddy, or anything else. It was gonna be us. And we did that for five years before we decided, hey, look, we good now. It's us, but it's me and you against the world. We can actually go back and entertain a couple of people now. We did that. So, Austin, that is very true what you just said. That's what I was saying. And, and you, you know, a lot of people that they really marriage-minded and want relationships, they, they say the same thing me and you just said mm -hmm. with, no, with I, what I, you I, just said. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know, but I can imagine that it would require that because I've heard a lot of times that, uh, family members, especially moms and dads, moms or dads or whomever, you know what I'm saying? They can break up relationships because uh, girl, you know, the women, they run back to their family members and they'll tell them all the bad stuff, but they won't tell them the good stuff. And so now mama is mad because she know that, you know, you know, Kevin and, and Janae got into an argument and Kevin won't let Janae get her hair done or whatever. And he, like, she like, well, what you mean? You, she can't get her hair done. You ain't working hard enough. That type of stuff. Janae ain't telling the whole truth about how she spent some money on that bracelet. You know what I'm saying? So I understand exactly what you're saying when you say that. And I I, rec I think that's a good thing that you just said that, that you keep the family members out. But you have to actually um, talk to your woman and let her know that you're bringing her from a covering of her father to your own covering and, and you got her. But she had that's a conversation that has to be had. She has to trust that that's who you are and that's what you're going to do. So, I, I agree with we, you. We, on that we, one. we we on the same page. I feel like y'all just don't see it. Uh, we on the I, same page. I, 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 I see it. Oh, yeah. I mean. that we having right now. No, no, I, Ashton, I appreciate you. No, no, no. Listen, I understand now 
Now that we have a little bit more information, we understand now that you just met the girl five months ago. But it also seems like you recognize that this is one, this woman is someone that is different than what you normally see. But you're just waiting for that other that other um, shoe to drop off, just in case. You want to make sure that other shoe don't drop off. So in that, that being said, I agree with you. You should maybe put in more time. I even heard someone say, and I don't know, I'm not an advocate of this because I got married really quick. But I've heard someone say you should date a person or uh, vet a person for every season. So if you met her in the summer, you want to go through the summer, the fall, the winter, spring. And by that next summer, y'all should start planning a wedding. And then maybe that next year, you would actually marry her. So I've heard that. So I I'm not sure if that works better or worse or what have you. But I married my husband within six months and it was 28 years ago. So I can't really say what works and what don't work. I think it all depends on the two people involved. You got to make it work. If it's something that you want, I think that's what you'll do. I think people concentrate very hard on what they want. And when they do that, they make things their concentration. That's what they. That's what works for them. But if you at any time put that marriage on auto, I tell black, I've been telling black men this for about a year and a half now. If you put your marriage on auto, it will do just like them Teslas do. Y'all know, you know, know what I'm talking about, right? You can't put it on auto. You got to actually drive it. And then it would work out for you. But otherwise, you may crash and burn. So that's how I feel. So listen here, Ashton. You got to come back again. But when you come back, you got to tell us how good things are. You got to have some stories for us and let us know. Let us in just a little bit more. Y'all understand what I mean, right? <laughs> but before we go, listen, black man, tell us what's going on over there at BMU tomorrow. Yes, indeed. So tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, come on over to Black Men Unfiltered Network. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification button. So tomorrow you can get with us. Tomorrow we're having a conversation with a with a, a few women and a few men together, coming together, having a conversation on Talk to Talk Tuesday. We're talking about, uh, you know, believe all women, question mark. With everything that's going on in the world today, believe all women, question mark. Uh, and so we'll have that conversation tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you guys in there at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So listen, guys, y'all heard that. Tomorrow is Believe All Women, question mark. Ooh. But anyway, listen, y'all have been outstanding tonight. Y'all stayed in with us when we had our judge show. We are actually thinking about having a judge show. Black men, did you enjoy that? I did. So all we need now is some callers. So guys, y'all keep in mind that we want to be the <laughs> the judge and the judge. Like one day I will be the prosecutor and black man can be the judge and we're gonna just toss this thing up. But all we need is some callers. So keep that in mind. But until then, y'all have a good night and peace. See y'all tomorrow. Peace. And don't forget Wonder Woman. <laughs> Gotta go Playing house This ain't a home With your soul On the road See I've been Lost in my thoughts And my thoughts They too are scared To us you're off Sorry mom I just thought You were my world Now you're not and I'm just sitting, smoking, sloping in the days Cause my days ain't been the same Since I drove here the way. I remember the way You wrote letters in blue ink You and me was in love Think about what your crew think I know your moms probably think I'm a bastard Your pops probably want to beat my to death and take a in my casket But I got sick of fighting, bickering, fussing Over nothing, cussing Instead of and watching the death of discussions that we once had Days that we once spent in the backseat of our cars Reading poets at sunset It's funny how love can fall out the foreground Get pushed into the back of your mind We used to twist this bluff and laugh and relax and Are you crying? And I'm trying to find a reason So I ask, does forever ever happen? Or is it always fade to black? I can't stay I know I always gotta go this ain't a home with my soul on the road. I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house, this ain't a home with my soul on the road.